out of close to 60,000 on hand for this. We're very happy you're with us. I hope you enjoy the telecast. I'm Bruce King along with Jim Mora and Harry Sloan as we get set to go. Washington against Michigan. Washington ranked 16th in the country. Michigan 8th in the country. Sports Illustrated felt at the beginning of this season that Michigan was the number one team in the country. And they will kick the ball off from the near hash mark. Slopey is set. The crowd comes up on their feet and they roar. Short driving kick. It'll be run back by Danny Green. Green at the 15. The 20 and hit just short of the 20 and falls across the 20 yard line. And the Huskies will put it in play at the 21st and 10. Tim Anderson making the stop for Michigan on the play. So for Washington, Steve Pallour will start at quarterback. And the running backs will be Walt Hunt and Sterling Hines. Dave Stransky, the flanker, and Danny Green will be the split in. Across the line, Maher, Mowry, Ernesty, Brosey, Dotson, and the tight end, Larry Michael. Well, the Huskies are starting off a little less field position this first drive they did last week, Bruce. We'll see what they can do with it. Split backs, as you see. First and ten at the 20. Huskies moving toward the open end of the field. Pallor to throw right off the bat. Goes over the middle to the tight end. That's Larry Michael with the ball. Up across the 27 to the 28. Picks up eight yards in the play. Make it second and two for Washington. You know, I talked to Bob Stahl this morning. I asked him what uh, their offensive coordinator asked him what the play was. They're going to the first play he was going to call, and he told me, and that's exactly what it was. I thought he was kidding at the time, but that's what they called. Defelis, Sinsich, and Brooks in the defensive line. You see the linebackers for Michigan. Second and eight for Washington. The ball at the 28. Hines in motion. Hand off to Hunt. Going to be hit just short of 30. Falls across the 30 and picks up the first down. Good second effort by Walt Hunt. Hunt, as you know, is the junior from Highline who just had an outstanding game last week in the win over Northwestern. And Sinsich is the man who made the stop. Defensive secondary, Lott, Cochran, Hewlett, and Cooper for Michigan. I think they're going to measure, Bruce. It's very, very close. I thought the second effort, he might have been close enough, but you know, they might be just short by the nose of the football. I think he made it, but we'll see here in a minute. I don't think he did either. Just by the nose yeah. of the football, as you see. Third down for Washington in about three inches. So the Huskies facing their first third down of the ball game. 14 10 to play first quarter. Husky Stadium, no score between Washington and Michigan. Huskies with a football for the first time. And now, now face third and oh, about three inches. This is a big down for him, big play. You got to pick up the, you got to pick up these third and short yardage situations. Michigan digs in, not a big defensive line. We'll talk about that in a minute. Pallor dives straight ahead behind the block of Rosie on the right side, and he gets the first down. Husky guards played very well last week against Northwestern, and they shut out there, Rosie and Maui. Rosie, Rosie number 64. You know, the quarterback sneak is really the best short yardage play when you've got like a foot or two feet to go. A lot of teams won't do it because they're afraid to get their quarterback hurt. But uh, obviously the Huskies don't feel that way. It's almost impossible to stop. Ball on the 32, just short of the 32. First and 10 there. Halfway between the hash marks, the Huskies ship with the tight end on the left side. Slot left with the fullback. Pitch to Hines. Closes in a hurry. It's back to the line of scrimmage, and that's all. Tom Hassel, three-year letterman out of Cincinnati, in to make the stop for the Wolverines. Hines last week, 12 carries for 80 yards, scored a couple of touchdowns, had one for 31 yards. Stopped as he tries to run around the left side. Hassel making a fine defensive play for Michigan, so it brings up second and 10 now for Washington at the 32. 13.06 to go first quarter, no score between the Huskies and the Wolverines. Pallor to throw again. The pass was intended on the outside for his fullback, Walt Hunt. He throws the ball a little bit too high. Rich Hewlett covering on the play. Strong safety position for the Wolverines. This Washington, a, a play action one pass. One. Uh, they they put down. Hunt in the flat there, and, and he was open, but Steve overthrew him. Fellower last week, as we mentioned at the start of the show, 21 to 32 for 211 yards. Got off to a great start. Threw it a little high. That's been one of the things he does yeah, sometimes. Yeah, he was last week. Third down and ten. Straight back to throw. Plenty of time. Great catch up at the 48-yard line by Dave Stransky. Oh, what a beauty for a first down. Rodney Lyles was covering on the play. We isolate on Stransky, and you'll see what he does. The senior from Cedro Woolley. Michigan's in a zone defense. They didn't get hardly any pass rush at all. Steve had all day to find him. He found the open zone, and they completed the pass. 
First and ten for Washington now. The ball at the 48. The Washington 48. No score. First quarter. Inside. He steps his way across midfield into Michigan territory and takes the ball across the 48 to near the 47. He picks up five yards in the play, second and five. Hassel making the stop for Michigan. He's the leading defensive player for the Wolverines. 111 tackles last year. 12-11 to play. First quarter, no score as we'd mentioned. You're looking in the Husky huddle. They are now facing second and five at the 47, the Michigan 47. Steve Fallor, the senior from Interlake, running the attack for Washington. Left side, scramble for the ball. Might Maybe have been loose. a fumble. Yep. can get it back. They did. Hand off to Hunt on the left side. He lost the football. DeFelice was the man who came up with the loose football. He's the senior from Trenton, Michigan. Here it is again. It's just a straight handoff, a straight dive uh, off an option fake, Bruce. And, and it looked to me like he might have been down, but apparently he wasn't. You know, it's interesting to note that last week the Huskies did not throw an interception, did not fumble the football. And here again in the first drive, they turned it over one time. And this is going to be critical in a game like this. Well, the question is answered now. Number 16 is there, Steve Smith. This is his first start of this year. Last time that he was in on an offensive play for Michigan was in the Rose Bowl against UCLA. Steve Smith. Tailback. Hit at the line of scrimmage. Picks up only a couple of yards on the play. And that's Rick Rogers. You know, both these teams like to run the football and would like to establish a running game. However, I think in a game like this, the teams that can throw the ball most effectively, especially on the early downs, might have the best chance offensively. Ball at the 47, the Michigan 47. Second and eight. And that's Steve Smith, the quarterback from Grand Blanc, Michigan. A senior. Rolling to throw. It is complete to the tight end at the 40. Takes the ball down to the Washington 37. Sim Nelson from Fort Wayne, Indiana, the sophomore. Here again, they're faking a little counter play back, and then Smith rolls out. I think he was looking for the wide out, but he was covered, so they threw to the tight end coming across. One thing Michigan is doing, Bruce, is they're, they're flip-flopping their tight end. He lines up on one side, then goes to the other side, and this creates a little confusion for the defense. First and 10 for Michigan now at the Washington 37. Wolverines have the ball for the first time. The Huskies gave it up on a fumble just a moment ago. Motion to the left. Pitch to the tailback, Rogers. Looking for some running room, gets it. Finally run out of bounds at the 25. The Washington 25, good enough for the first down. Picks up 11 yards in the play. Vince Albritton finally runs Rodgers out of bounds. But it's good enough for the first down. Rodgers last week rushed for 124 yards and averaged a little over six yards a carry. For Michigan, you see their offensive set. Smith, Rodgers the tailback, Rice the fullback, Johnson and Bean the wide receivers. The Huskies didn't have anybody to come up and turn that thing back inside like they should. Every time you run a play to the outside, somebody's got to be responsible for turning it back inside. Michigan up in the eye. First and 10 now at the 25. Fullback straight ahead. Hit as he hits the center of the line, picks up a couple, and he may have lost the football for just a second, but Armstrong picks up two on the play. Make it second and eight now. The ball at the 23. The Washington 23. Michigan moving toward the closed end of the field. For Huskies defensively, Ronnie Holmes, Browning, and Matson across the line. The linebackers Hill, Miember, Kelly, and Small. Second and eight for the Wolverines. 10-12 to go in the first quarter. No score. Washington and Michigan. Rogers the only setback. Armstrong in motion. Smith the throw. In and out of the hands of the intended receiver and a fine defensive play by Washington. And the Huskies, J.C. Pearson knocks it away from Gilvani Johnson on the play. Down at the five-yard line. Again, second and eight. They're a uh, little play-action pass. Pretty good pressure by Hill. The throw was there, but uh, the receiver couldn't hang on to it. And, and Pearson was in excellent shape. Excellent shape. Made a good play. Huskies left corner. He's the junior college transfer from El Camino of Fullerton, J.C. Making his second start at Washington. Now it brings up a third and eight at the 23. Smith the throw again. Plenty of time. They know he's not going to run with it. Completes it to the 20, to the 19. Still on his feet is Steve Johnson making Armstrong. He's inside the 20, down to the 19. 
That was a good job by the Huskies in that uh, the Michigan needed eight yards for the first down. They just dropped back in a zone defense. They're going to let them catch the short one, come up and make the tackle before they get the required yardage for a first down. That's exactly what they did. So Slopey with the ball short of the first down marker brings up fourth and three at the 18. Slopey in to attempt a field goal. Harbaugh will hold number four. Slopey missed an extra point last week. The ball is down. Kick is up. It's good. Just hooks inside the left goal post in Michigan on the scoreboard first. And the Wolverines lead it by a score of three to nothing. Todd Slopey kicks a 35-yard field goal to put Michigan on the scoreboard. The Wolverines lead, as you see, by a score of three to nothing. Huskies turned it over. Uh, on a fumble by Walt Hunt near midfield and Michigan took the ball down Huskies defensively uh, stopped them at the 18 but uh, Slopey comes on kicks the 35 yard field goal you see 25 yards in uh, six plays 237 on the clock 916 to go here in the first quarter Slopey set to kick it off back deep for Washington Danny Green and Sterling Hines like great crowd on hand but they're quiet right now because they'd love to see their football team that shut out Northwestern last week get some offense going. Huskies had it moving until they gave it away. Slopey set to kick it away. Not the longest kick in the world. Green will take it five yards deep in the end zone, however, and he will down it there. Washington will put it play first and ten at their own 20. The Huskies had a good drive going. Bruce, that first uh, series, uh, they made a couple of real critical third down plays, and then fumble the ball away and in a game like this uh, two great football teams uh, which is going to be a close game anyway again the team that makes the fewest mistakes or turnovers is, is going to win the football game you're looking now at the Husky bench Don James on the left first and ten for Washington the ball on the 20 their own 20 they trail by a score of three to nothing Mark Patterson in motion and off to the tailback Sterling Hines gets the block up across the 24 to the 25 picks up five yards on the play Second and five for Washington there. Sterling Hines. I'll tell you what the Huskies are doing here. You can't see it on your screen right now, but they're bringing their wide receiver in motion, which are actually they're creating an, a, an unbalanced situation, an overload for themselves against Michigan. Michigan's having a little bit difficult time adjusting to it. It gives them one extra blocker over there, and they're running right into it, the Huskies are. Hines, three carries for 10 yards so far in the ballgame. Second and five for Washington now. The ball at the 25. Michigan up in a three-man front. Walt Hunt over the left side. Goes across the 30 and picks up the first down. If they mark the ball across the 30, going to mark it right on the 30-yard line. Well, the Huskies are doing a good job of running the ball uh, on the first and second down, which uh, if they can continue to do this throughout the game, it's going to be a big factor. Now, the reason the crowd was booing just a moment ago, you're looking at the Michigan bench right now, is they thought it was a first down. They went across the 30. We did, too, but they mark it just short of the 30. Brings up now third and about three inches. Pallor over the left side picks up the first down again. This identical to the first drive between Washington and Michigan here just a few minutes ago. 8.06 to go in the first quarter here from Husky Stadium this afternoon. Beautiful day for football. Michigan leads it by a score of 3 to nothing, 3 to nothing on Slopey's 35-yard field goal. Well, Michigan has been and, and always will be a, a tough defensive team, a bend but not break team, and this is what they're showing right now. That's Hunt in motion. Fleur to throw. Time again. Time to run to the outside. Tries to break a tackle. Does. Still on his feet at the 30. Hit at the 34. Loses the football, but they're going to mark it at the 34. Say he was down there. Right. Rich Hewlett. The senior from Plymouth, Michigan, making the stop for the Wolverines on the play. Steve, I, I believe Michigan was playing some man for man here, bringing a little bit more of a rush than they have been so far, and this created a little bit of a problem for Steve. He had to scramble, and uh, he picked up about three or four yards. Michigan is basically a zone football team as far as their defense is concerned, but occasionally they will blitz on you, bring an extra linebacker or safety, and play man for man, and they did there. Second and six, ball at the 34. Hines, big hole at the left side, gets the first down up across the 40 to the 42. Mike Boren in to make the stop, the three-year letterman from Columbus, Ohio. 
Big hole on the left side. Well, they ran a trap play with the left guard Mallory pulling to trap, but what happened is, is as often does, Hines actually hit the play on the other side of the line. You get such a quick reaction by the Michigan defense that the cutback area or away from the hole is where it's open. First and 10 for Washington at the 42. Hunt in the slot back position. Pelour to throw. Looking again. Got his man open. Danny Green in Michigan territory to the Michigan 42. Great catch by Danny Green at the 42. First down for Washington. Here's Pelour. Set the throw again. And I think this is what they need to do, Bruce. And they're uh, first and 10. Drop back, play action, throw the ball, pick up a 15 or 20 yard gain on first down. Keaton guessing as to what you're going to do on first down. First down may be the most critical down of the three. Pelour, three of four for 39 yards so far in the ball game. Huskies trail it three to nothing. Patterson in motion. And it may have been too much motion right there. We'll see what the penalty is going to be. 6.09 to play here in the first quarter. Michigan leading by a score of three to nothing on Slopey's 35 yard field goal. Five yards against the Huskies on the play. Before the snap, false start against the offense. So first and 15 now for Washington at the 47. And that really hurts a drive in a situation like that when you get a big play and all at once you lose five. It's hard, that, en yeah, it's hard enough to get <laughs> to go all the way anyway, <laughs> much less without a penalty. Pelour, long count, throws to the outside, complete to Sterling Hines, tries to get away from one man out there, but can't. going to be hit at the 45 and driven back. And Tom Hassel was the man to make the first contact at the 45. This is something the Huskies did last week. They, they, they send their, their running back in motion prior to the snap, and they try to get him out there, a guy like Sterling, in the open field, one-on-one -on -one with a linebacker or a defensive back. And all he has to do is break one tackle after the quick reception, and he's going to pick up good yardage. And Michigan's, you know, it's tough to break a tackle on them. Second and 12, the ball at the 44, the Michigan 44. Two wide receivers split out wide to the left, and the fullback to the left. Pelour to throw. Over the middle. Complete to Mark Patterson. Breaks two tackles. Still on his feet. Gets down to the 36. Going to be short of the first down by about four yards. Going to bring up third and four. Here's a good look at it again. A big, a big second down play for him. Hit Mark coming underneath. The thing about this, though, you know, a, a good defensive team like Michigan, it looks like you're going to pick up good yardage, but all of a sudden there's four, four or five guys staring in your face. They have great pursuit. Horn and Cooper hey, hey, in on the play for Michigan. You see Patterson. He is the junior from Roosevelt High School in Seattle. Pelour to throw. Third and four. Throws to the outside to Hines. Breaks the tackle still on his feet. He gets the first down, down to the 31. He had to get to the 32 to get the first down. He just drove his way to the 31 to get it. Here again, you're trying to get your, your backs one-on-one -on -one with the linebacker. And this is just a great individual effort by Sterling, breaking the tackle and getting the first down. Otherwise, they would have had to punt. They broke the tackle of John Lott, a guy who broke his arm last year and missed a couple of games, but came back to play. He's now playing at the left corner for Michigan today. Like if you're say, an offensive coach, halfback. it's a great play. If you're a defensive coach, it was a bad play by the guy that missed the tackle. First and 10 now at the 31 for Washington. Michigan leading 3 to nothing. Pelour on a delay over the middle. Danny Green breaks a couple of tackles and fights his way inside the 25 to the 23. Lott was the man who made the stop for Michigan on the play. I don't think you can see it on your screen, but uh, Michigan came with a blitz, with a safety blitz. Number 10, blitzing out of the secondary. They hit Danny on a little delay pattern. Here again, Michigan isn't tackling quite as well as I thought they would. Again, we're getting a great effort by the Washington offensive players. Stransky comes back in. Pelour's 7 and 8 for 63 yards so far. Stransky in for Danny Green. Robertson at left guard now in place of Mallory. Second and two, the ball at the 23. The outside, in and out of the hands of the attended receiver, and that was Mark Patterson down at the 20. Brad Cochran was covering on the play, but the pass was just a little bit too high and just too tough to handle. So Patterson drops the ball. Steve Pelour now 7 of 9 for 63 yards in the ballgame. Huskies across the line. Maher, Robertson now, Ernest C. Brosey, and Dotson. Washington on third down. They're four for four so far. 
third and two. The ball at the 23. A straight ahead. Reno DeFeo in the game picks up the first down. Good blocking on the right-hand side of the line. Good blocking on the right side by Brosey and, and uh, Dotson. And all they did there was run right at what they call the bubble. Uh, Michigan's in a 3-4 defense. They've got a linebacker who's off three or four yards sitting over the guard, and they ran right at him. DeFeo, the junior from Kennedy High School. His uncle played football at Western Washington, a social major at Washington, I might tell you. First down, Washington 7, Michigan 2 so far. Had a little mix up there in their formation. So timeout on the field with 3.01 to play. Here in the first quarter, Michigan leading Washington by a score of 3 to nothing. An excited Don James on the Washington sideline, but his team trails by a score of 3 to nothing. but they're on the move. The Huskies have it first and 10 now at the Michigan 18. Looking into the Washington huddle right now. And Walt Hunt back in at fullback. Steve Fleur is the quarterback. Sterling Hines, the running back. Pro set left. Tight in on the right. Green in motion. Hand off to Hines. Going to be hit as he gets to the line of scrimmage, and that's going to be about it. Michigan, like all good defensive teams, once you get inside that 20-yard line, uh, they become a lot tougher to move the ball against. It restricts you as an offensive team, and uh, they're tough down here. Born and Hassel making the stop, and a couple of guys who were three-year letterman in that Michigan defensive team. They play very well. Hassel comes out now, and he's replaced by another defensive back. Tony Gant goes in, so now they have five defensive backs in the game. And off to Hunt over the left side. Gets to about the 15. Picks up only a three on the play. Make it two as they say his knee hit at the 16. So now it's going to bring up a third down. You saw the stat just a moment ago. The Huskies five for five on third down. That's Walt Hunt, big guy, a junior out of Burien. Grandfather played. You probably mentioned that if you're with us last week at Northwestern. He was excited when he scored a touchdown in that game. 159 to play here in the first quarter. Huskies have it third down. Six third down of the ball game. Third and eight. 21. Hunt in motion. Pelor to throw. He has time. Over the middle. In and out of the tight end hand. Oh, we had Larry Michael down at the five. Just in and out of his hand. Well, again, Michigan on third and long is in what you call a nickel defense with four down linemen, five defensive backs. Uh, Michaels put a good move on, on the defensive back there, number 10, who was covering him man for man. It was a good throw. He couldn't hang on to it. It's a big play they should have made. Jeff Cohen was the defensive player for Michigan on the play. So it brings up now a fourth down. The Huskies will try to tie it. The ball will be marked back at the 24-yard line, a 34-yard field goal. Jeff Jager, the kick. Kicks in the air. It's high enough, long enough, and it is good. So Jager ties it with a 34-yard field goal with 1.43 to play here in the first quarter. Washington three and Michigan three, and we'll be right back. It's Washington three and Michigan three. 1.43 to play here in the first quarter as Jager just kicked a 33-yard field goal to tie the game. We remind you, you're watching this football game on KOMO, Channel 4 in Seattle. I'm Bruce King, along with Jim Mora and Harry Sloan. As you look now at a young guy by the name of Jager, he started out with number 12. The second half of that Northwestern game, he put on 18. Because there's a young kid by the name of Ronnie Milas who wears number 12, and he's on the kickoff return team, so they couldn't do that, or the kickoff team, I should say. 64 yards for Washington, 15 plays, 7 minutes and 33 seconds go off the clock. Giovanni Johnson and Steve Johnson are deep for Michigan. The Johnson boys, not related, but they're standing back on about the three-yard line. Now, you remember last week what Jager did. He just drove it out of the end zone a couple of times. We'll see what he can do now. Well, it's always nice to come in as a defensive player with the other team starting to drive on the 20. Long driving kick. It'll go five yards deep in the end zone. They'll run it out. Going to be hit inside the 15. Great defensive play by Washington. As you see, they're excited. Al James was the guy who made the first hit on uh, Gil Bonnie Johnson. Here it is again. Now, normally, if a guy catches the ball five yards into the end zone, they'll elect not to run it out. But he did, and he had a great tackle by, by number 32, Al James. 
13 yard return the ball at the Washington 13 tough to start from there good look at James number 32 Washington three Michigan three Steve Smith still in at quarterback for Michigan he moved in the length of the field to pick up a touchdown I should say a field goal to start of the ball game running back Rogers hemmed in as he gets up to the 15 across to the 16 yard line Tim Meamber in on the play for Washington also Lynn Matson number 68 as you see there the guy who just loves to read and play the piano and play football he's a good one 6 4 250 from Vista California in a two year letterman second and seven at the 16 for the Wolverines good football game so far kind of game you like to sit down and watch a lot of coaching going on out there too Jim yeah this is uh, a lot of coaching typical game here between two good teams like That's this. The throw over the middle it is complete to his tight end across the 30 to the 32 and that's Sim Nelson gonna make the stop for Washington Robert Leapart was there Nelson's second catch of the ball game shot of Smith Steve Smith they had a blitz and they had a guy free right in Smith's face now you don't get a chance to see it again but it's first and ten now for Michigan the ball now at the Michigan 32 this drive started at their own 13 crowd comes alive the wave starts here I'll show it to you in just a minute high formation up back in the eye is Rogers Rice is the fullback long count Rogers some daylight still on his feet gets the first down and goes across the 45 to the 48 a Michigan first down Rogers as you'll see here the, the, on a play yeah. action play from Smith just cuts it to the outside like an earlier play, all Britt number six there is really the guy that's responsible for turning this play to the inside so that your pursuit can pick up and, and make the play inside out. But all Britain lost contain or lost force. He broke outside of it, and now your pursuit or the, 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 uh, the, the success of your pursuit is lost. Uh, uh, Leapart came over from the free safety position and made a good play. You've got to turn the wide stuff in. Rodgers, four carries for 33 yards. First and 10 out to 48. Husky Stadium crowd comes alive. It's the defense to dig in. Back to throw. Smith throws deep. Got a man knocked away by Robert Leapart. Intended for Vince Bean okay. to split in. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see what the call is going to be here. They call a penalty? They said that was complete. We'll oh. see. No way. I can't. Oh, that's right. You only got to have one foot. Yeah, but I'm, not so I'm not so sure he had control of that ball. That was a pretty good play by Robert Leapart. Say the play's good for 21 yards. Let me see that again. Smith now four for five for 57 yards. Very close. Oh, very close. Very close. That the official was right there and said know. his foot was in bounds. First Spence. and ten now for Michigan at the 31. The Washington 31. Wolverines on a drive. Rodgers in the play act to the outside. Going to be hit at the line of scrimmage and stopped right there. In on the play for Washington. Vince Albritton. Joe Kelly, number 36, also there. And as you see right here, Rick Rogers is saying, I can't hear. That Husky Stadium crowd comes alive, and I can't hear. Well, you go back and play in front of that crowd of 100,000 back there, and you don't hear very well either. <laughs> no, these guys should be used to it. And there are only 59,000 here. <laughs> I would think they'd be used to it. They should be used to it. The Husky mascot. You're looking in the Husky defensive huddle. That's Vince Albritton on the left. J.C. Pearson, number four. Husky defensive secondary will be tested today. Believe me. There is some discussion on the sideline now as Smith goes back out in the field. 21 seconds to go in the first quarter. Second and nine for Michigan. The ball at the 30. Up in an eye formation. Two wide receivers put out wide to the left. Johnson and Bean. Here comes a blitz. Flips it to the outside. Going to be hit behind the line of scrimmage. And driven down there. Fine defensive play by Washington. As you see, the Huskies played it very, very well. It yeah, was the they, had, uh, they had the weak safety blitz with Robert Leapart, number 24, coming from the outside. Uh, Smith did not have time to throw the ball downfield. He had to dump it off to his back. Fred Small was covering him, made a great play there along with Krakowski. And uh, just a super defensive effort. Loses eight yards on the play. 
No time left on the clock as the first quarter comes to an end on third and 17 at the 42. Score tied 3-3. Three, three. Washington 3, Michigan 3. Third and 17 for the Wolverines now at the 38. Steve Smith so far for Michigan, 5 of 6 for 49 yards. The Wolverines, as you look at Bo Schembechler in the sideline, you saw James just a moment ago. They are 0 for 1 in third down plays. This is only the second time they've had a third down. We'll see what Noel Washington can do. Huskies come up now in a four-man front. Two linebackers in tight. Smith to throw. Rolling to the outside. Hit from behind. Back at the 39. Stuart Hill was right there. Freddie Small, number five. But Stuart Hill makes the play. You'll yeah, see it again. This was just a question here of, of the Husky defenders beating the offensive people. I think Holmes was the first guy that Smith saw coming from his right. And he actually made him uh, break the pocket and start to scramble. And then uh, Hill came in and, and sacked him. Don Bracken back to kick for Michigan. And Danny Green drifting back. So about the 15, now he's going back to the 10. Brings up fourth down, fourth and 19 at the 40. Huskies up in an eight-man front, and they're hoping that the Huskies will jump offside. And they don't, for what reason, I don't know, but the whistle blows, and it's going to cost Michigan five yards. So delay a game, and I think the reason for that, Jim, is they're trying to hang the ball up and maybe put Washington deep in their own territory and try to force a run back. Maybe. Yeah, I think so. Uh, that, that second down play was a big play. Of course, the third down play was a big play. And not only uh, it stopped Michigan, uh, but it, it took them out of field goal range. And, and now Michigan has to punt. The ball back at the 45. Offense. Get down. Larry Sweeney is the deep snapper for the Wolverines. Second string defensive or offensive guard, I should say. Danny Green now back at the 10. Bracken to kick. Score tied 3-3. Off the side of his foot, but Green's going to finally take it at the 15. Looking for some daylight. Has some. Hit from behind at the 25 and driven ahead to the 26. Danny Green runs it back about 11 yards. He comes off limping just a little bit. Greg Armstrong was the man who made the stop. The first contact for Michigan on the play. Huskies will take it over first and 10 now. The ball at the 26. 14.06 to play in the second quarter from Husky Stadium. What has now turned into a cloudy afternoon. Started out with some sunshine. 30-yard kick on the play. An 11-yard return. Well, let's see if the Huskies can take the ball and move it down again, which they've done so far this, this game. They've moved the ball well. That's Patterson in motion. One setback is Cookie Jackson in the ball game for the first time. Over the right side, across to the 27, up near the 29. Going to pick up about three on the play. Make it second and seven, the ball at the 29. And Sinchich is in to make the stop. Made the first contact, at least. You look now at the Washington bench. Coach Hall there. Skip Hall. He coaches the linebacker. He's, he's talking to him about how to get that ball wide, but we got to get force and, and contain and then and pursue and make the play. Second and seven. The ball at the 29. Huskies moving now toward the closed end of the stadium. Score tied 3 3. Pelour. As a man, it is complete across the 30 to the 31. The ball was complete to his fullback coming out of the backfield, and that's Breno to fail. That's Rich Hewlett in to make the stop from the strong safety position for Michigan. That's the same play they tried in the first quarter, Bruce, where he overthrew Hunt. We brought him out into the flat from the fullback position. Pass was right on target that time. Cookie Jackson and Breno DeFeo are the running backs for Washington now. Danny Green out of the ball game and Patterson and Stransky in. Huskies five of six on third downs in the ball game. Third and five at the 31. Receivers put out wide, clear across the field on the right side. One setback. Ballura turns around, looks, and says, wait a minute, I don't like what I see, and what I have called isn't going to work on third down. So let's go to the sideline and talk it over. So that's exactly what they'll do. Score tied 3-3, 12.50 to play in the second quarter for Husky Stadium. We'll be right back. James and Ray Dorr, his quarterback coach, discussing the play as the Huskies now face third and five, the ball at their own 31. 12.50 to play, second quarter, score tied 3-3. Ballure sends his wide receivers wide, 20 yards out to the right side of the field. One setback. Ballure to throw, plenty of time. Looks, looks, has a man open. It is complete. 
at midfield into Michigan territory at the 48, and the flag goes down. Great play and a great catch. Patterson made the catch. The key here was the protection that they afford Steve. See, really the guy is, uh, Patterson's not open right away, but Steve's got so much time that he can wait for Mark to get open and, uh, and, and came up with the completion. John excellent. Lott makes the stop. Excellent job of uh, pass blocking by the offensive line. And we got a personal foul besides. Looking at the Husky band, they have to be excited. It is a personal foul against Michigan on the play. <laughs> So that's going to cost them 15 yards. The Huskies now will get the ball deep in Michigan territory at the 33. Got another, Madison, two uh, catches for 29 yards so far. Another good drive going for him offensively. First the foul against the defense. First down. Pallor, 9 of 12 for 86 yards. Twelve forty to play. Second quarter, 3-3 three, three time. Patterson in motion. Rookie Jackson, hit as he gets to the line of scrimmage, and maybe gets a half a yard on the play. Boren in on the play for Michigan, the three-year letterman from Columbus, Ohio. I could hear that hit up here, Bruce. You hear that? Take a buck. That's, That's Tim Meamber, the inside linebacker, and the guy who calls the defensive signals for Washington. Meamber from Wairika, California, talking to Skip Hall. First down, Washington nine, and Michigan five so far in the ball game. Second and ten for Washington. The ball now at the 33. Split backs. DeFeo in motion. Time to throw. It is complete to Stransky. Stransky is upended as he gets to the 22. John Lott again to make the stop for the Wolverines. Stransky, the senior from Cedro Willie. Again, Michigan went to their four down line scheme and uh Caught him in man defense and brought uh, Stransky across the middle. Patterson came over and put a pretty oh, good block on the defender. A great there. block. You always like to see those wide receivers going downfield and hitting somebody. A lot of people don't think they like to hit, but uh, these Husky wide receivers will knock your socks off. Good enough for the Washington first down. First and 10 at the 22. The hash mark on the near side. Jackson can't break a tackle as he goes to the 20 down to the 19. Picks up three yards in the play. Boren and Hassel from the linebacker positions making the stop inside for Michigan. Second and seven for the Huskies there. The ball at the Michigan 19. 3-3 three, three ties. 11-11 to play in the second quarter. A sellout crowd at Husky Stadium. Well, the Huskies have done a good job so far of coming up with a big play on second down and long and third down. Let's see if they can do it here. Second and seven. The ball at the 19. Below it. Into the end zone, touchdown to Stransky. Here's a good look at it again. Pelour to throw, and he was right on target. Oh, he had a great throw this time. Uh, again, look at the protection. There's not a there's not a Michigan guy around him. He's got plenty of time. Good pattern by Stransky and a great throw by Steve. He again, got he's right, got all day. Got he's all got day right throw. between Lott and Cooper on the play. And just beat him cold. Huskies score the first touchdown of the ball game. Jagger in to kick. Out of the hold of Pelour, it is good. And with 10.51 to play. Here in the second quarter, Husky Stadium, the Huskies lead Michigan by a score of 10 to 3. Washington 10, Michigan 3. Huskies move 73 yards, 7 plays, 3.15 on the clock. Pelour 11 for 14 in the ball game so far, 116 yards and a touchdown. He throws the 19-yard touchdown pass to Stransky, who has three catches now for 49 yards. Pelour 4 for 4 for 53 yards on that drive. Steve's off to a great start today, and uh, <laughs> hey, if he really. can keep doing this, it's going to do wonders for his confidence, and he'll get better and better. Jeff Jager will kick it off. The freshman from Kent Meridian. He was the walk-on. Long. High kick. They won't bring this one out. They'd never bring it. He out kicked the, it clear out of the end zone. Well, he's done it two games hey, in a row now. This guy's for real. Here's a guy nobody wanted and walked out of Washington, called him up and said, can I come play for your football team? Chuck who? That's what people <laughs> will be saying around here. <laughs> very, very well. So Michigan will put it in play. First and 10 at their own 20. Huskies defensively with Holmes, Browning, and Matson in there. That linebackers are Hill and Fred Small. Rakowski in for Kelly on the inside. 
Steve Smith, still at quarterback, weren't sure how long he was going to play. Hit from Grand Blanc. Oh, they've been in there the entire first half. Michigan only had 10 guys on the field. Now, wait a minute. They're going to have to call a timeout because, they, as you mentioned, they have too many people. Not enough people not on enough, the field. Not enough, yeah. And they finally ran their wide receiver back trying to get him on the field, and uh, they weren't exactly sure what in the world they were going to do, so they called a timeout. So we'll be right back to Husky Stadium right after this. Washington 10, Michigan 3, 10.51 to play in the second quarter from a sellout crowd at Husky Stadium. It's a great day for football as the Huskies have had three very impressive drives as we were talking during the break, Jim. They lost it on a fumble in the first drive. They kick a field goal in the second drive. And they take it 73 yards to score on a 19-yard pass from Pallor to Dave Stransky across the middle to take a 10-3 to lead. Michigan has it now, first and 10 at their own 20. The Huskies stopped them the last time. We'll see what happens now. Rakowski in for Kelly, an inside linebacker position for the Huskies. Huskies now up in the three-man front. Eye formation for Michigan. Smith, quarterback. That's the fullback with the ball, and flag goes down as he picks up only a couple on the play. Armstrong straight ahead. This is just a just a handoff to the fullback. You know, the start of the option off the triple option. I'll tell you, the guy that made the great play there was uh, Matson came across from the uh, right tackle position. He's the senior from Vista, California. And it will be holding against Michigan. Dean Browning, who's one of the co-captains for the Huskies. I was really impressed with the Husky defensive line last week against Northwestern. And uh, you wondered if, if they were just a lot better, you know, if Northwestern wasn't a good quality football team. But they're doing a great job again today. And I think Michigan's, Michigan is going to have a hard time running the ball inside on them. Stuart Hill, also a co-captain. Big discussion now is uh, do you want to give them the two yards, bring up second and eight? Do you want to take it halfway to the goal line? And I think that's what they're going to do is take it halfway to the goal line. And they will bury them back at the 10. Yeah, this is the right decision to make first and 20. First down. First and 20, uh, you know, anytime you can get them in that kind of a situation, especially down here, the field position uh, factor, uh, 10 yard, own 10 yard line, you know, that puts the offense in a tough situation. Michigan three penalties for 30 yards so far. The Huskies one for five. First and ten for Michigan. One setback. Fullback in motion. That's Rice in the game. Left side. Hit back at the nine and drives ahead to the ten. Flag goes down again at the ten. In on the play for Washington was I, Vesti Jackson. This, this might have been an illegal block or a clip by a wideout. Uh, Fred Small Got blocked, but came up and made a great play. Just as he was getting blocked, you can't see it there. Uh, he came across and made the play. What was it, holding? We'll hear the call right now. And the officials come over to talk to Bo Schembechler on the bench. And it's going to be a Husky choice here as to exactly what they want to do. Now, they get uh, the ball back short of the line of scrimmage, and it could bring up a second and 20, second and 21. We'll I, hear. I think I'd... Against the offense, penalty declined, yeah. second down. Yeah. The, the wide receiver from Michigan came in and, and, and blocked uh, Fred. And he blocked him below the waist, which you can't do. And here it is, second 20, which you, you ought to refuse this one. It's a good, good decision here. Fred Small, Bestie Jackson making the play for Washington. Second and 20. Ball back at the 10. Smith to throw. Looks, throws deep, trying to find his man. Overshoots him at the 40-yard line. Covering for Washington was Pearson. And that was Steve Johnson, the sophomore from Youngstown, Ohio. Trying to come up with a play. Husky rally squad. No wonder you have that smile on your face. The team is leading by a score of 10-3 to against the eighth-ranked team of the country and a team that Sports Illustrated had picked to be number one in the country this year. Well, they were going to try to get it back in one play, Bruce, and... Uh... Husky defensive secondary played well against Northwestern, and they're still playing well. Darn right. Michigan 0 for 2 and third down. 10.04 to go here in the second quarter. Third and 20. The ball back at the 10. Smith going again. He's going to run this time. Has some daylight. Good runner. Up at the 20. Still on his feet. First. Going to be hit very close to the first down, and I think he picked it up. He got Steve it. Steve Smith takes the ball out to the 30 and runs at 20 yards. He is an excellent runner. And the Huskies betting yeah, that this, he's not going to run. This, this is the kind of stuff you shouldn't let happen to you defensively. You got him third and 20 backed up on their own 10-yard line. There's no way they ought to be able to have the quarterback scrambling. But he did, you know, and uh, it's going to happen sometimes, and it, it's, a, it's a tough play. 
He barely made it. Now, fact, I'm not sure yeah, he made it. They're going to move either. it up. Okay, they'll give him the first down. Now, it looked like he might have been down just short of the first down. Smith, they didn't want him running with the football today no. because of the bad shoulder. They said, we just want him to go back and throw a little bit. But he had to run that time. And when he begins to run with the ball, that whole Michigan offense changes dramatically. He is very, very quick. So first and ten for Michigan. They get out of the hole with 9.53 to play here in the second quarter. Trailing 10 to 3. The Huskies on top. Huskies jump offside. Uh, I think the I think the left tackle for Michigan moved, number 79, before the uh, and that drew uh, Matson off. Yeah, it's on Michigan. So Matson jumps over and touches him. Yeah. It's he, gonna be against Michigan. Miller, Miller moved and uh, and Matson reacted and uh, penalties against Michigan. Couple of scores for you. Notre Dame 21, Michigan State 21 at the half. Alabama leads Mississippi 33 to nothing playing in the third quarter. Iowa 35, Penn State 28 in the third quarter. Got to get some Pac-10 games for you as we go along. Michigan, first and 15. Over the middle, it is completed to 30 and drives ahead to about 33 is where they'll mark the ball. Picks up a couple of yards, make it three on the play. Second and seven at the 33. Sim Nelson, the tight end, making the catch on the pass from Smith. And they make a change right away. So Don James thought he was going to get football back there for just a second. But they left Steve Smith get off the hook and, and run it out all the way to the 30. So now it's second and seven. The ball at the 33, the Michigan 33. Huskies up in a three-man front. Smith, option, pitch wide. Hit hard at the 37-yard line and a fine defensive play for the Huskies that time. Okay. This, Joe Kelly back in the ball game. This is a great play by Vesty Jackson. Uh, Michigan's running the triple option here. They fake to the fullback. Now, number 20 is the pitch man here. Vesty Jackson plays off the block by the wide receiver and makes the play. Perfect. Vesty Jackson, the 5'11 and a half, 188-pound sophomore from Fresno. He's a guy who dropped out of the program in 81, came back redshirted last year, and now he's back in it. Michigan, one for three in third down. Third and three at the 37, their own 37. High formation. Steve Smith at quarterback. Pitch to the outside. Run out of bounds at the 39. Short of the first down by a yard. Rogers was run out of bounds. That was exactly the same play to this side, and uh, Tony Albritton, in this case, was the uh, guy that had the pitch man and the option. He came up and made a, a good play. Vince Albritton from Oakland, the senior. One of five children. Uh, Vince Albritton, excuse me. The guy who's been waiting to, to start, started a couple of games last year. Moved over to the strong safety position. And the kick is Bracken. Big rush, almost blocked by Washington. Oh, they almost got a piece of it. Danny Green, fair catch at the 24. Stuart Hill coming from the outside, almost got a part of it. So the they, Huskies will take over first and 10 at their own 24. They were close last week blocking a couple. and 37-yard uh, punt for Bracken. He had a 38-yarder earlier in the ball game. Husky fans, you got something to smile at right now. Stransky in the ball game at a wide receiver position for the Huskies right now as you look into their huddle. Number 51, that's Dan Ernesty, the center, 6'3", 237, the junior from Mount Rainier High School. He will center the ball to Steve Pallor. First and 10 for Washington at the 24, their own 24. They lead it 10 to 3. Jock Robinson breaks the tackle and takes it across the 35 to the 36. Now the leading rusher in the Pac-10 conference last year picks up a first down. And well, for 12 yards. This is a trap play. You see Mallory there making a great block. He just put that guy right flat on his back. Good blocking by the right side and Mallory pulling from the left side. They got that Rick Rick Finney's in there now. Bruce at fullback, the freshman. In with Jock Robinson. Yeah. So Robinson and Finney. Interesting. You put a freshman in at fullback. The leading rusher of the Pac-10 last year. The guy who said great credentials here. Robinson again, right side, picks up all about three this time, takes the ball out to the 39. Second and seven from the 39. So the Huskies making some changes. Coming into the ballgame, they knew they were going to play three, maybe four backs, four full backs, and uh, 
four tailbacks in a ball game. We'll yeah. tell you something about uh, Rick Mowry here in just a moment. He's father again, second time on Tuesday. His wife Shannon, birth of the second son on Tuesday. She's at Swedish Hospital watching the game. His name, Adam Scott. Throw to the outside. In and out of the hands of Danny Green. It would have been good enough for the first down, but the pass was thrown a little bit low. Well, Steve hasn't been off very much today, but uh, he was a little low that time to Danny. He had Danny open. Would have been a first down. John Lott was covering for Michigan on the play. 6.51 to play here in the second quarter. Washington 10, Michigan 3. The ball at the Washington 39. And Bo isn't very happy. He's talking to the officials right now and isn't very happy with what in the world's going on. And so he and the officials are jawing just a little bit on the near sideline, but I think they have it straightened out. I think one of the problems was the Michigan players and some of the coaches, they felt were getting too far out in the field. And, and uh, so the official on that side said, we want you back of the white line. You see the white side of the field right there. You have to be back of that white line. So yeah. the Huskies <laughs> face a third down. Third and seven now at the 39. That's a hard thing to control. Most uh, teams have a guy on their team, that'll, a staff that will just be responsible for that. Kaloa. He's set. Going deep for everything to Danny Green. Maybe picked off. Knocked away. Back there was Brad Cochran and even Cooper back there for Michigan. You'll see the play again. There's well, Danny Green. Again, Michigan's coming with a little bit more of a rush this time. Uh, they had third and six, but he saw Danny open for just the moment and thought he could get it to him, but the free safety for Michigan came over like he should and made a great play on the ball. Yvonne Cooper knocked the ball away and almost picked it up. So the Huskies will have to kick it away. First punt of the ball game for Washington. Mike Zimmerman in the kick. Well, now this could be interesting. <laughs> it could be. Zimmerman under a lot of pressure this last week after having some problems against Northwestern. Patrick, the long pass. He kicks the ball straight up in the air. Kind of a dull kick that is going to be taken on a free, free catch down at the 30. And two Michigan players run together. Cooper was there, was one of them. The other was Johnson. Johnson, the deep man. And they asked for a fair catch, and uh, that almost turned into a bad play for yeah, Michigan. A little lack of communication there. The, the deep guy uh, should have been calling, I got it, I got it, and... Uh, Probably was, and the uh, the guy, the, the shorter guy, didn't hear him. The Amber out of the ball game for Washington. Krakowski and Kelly are the linebackers. We'll check on that. Straight ahead, the fullback, and not much as he picks up only a yard. That was Dan Rice, the sophomore from uh, Roxbury, Massachusetts. Picks up only a yard. Dig number 90. Ron Holmes, Timberline High School, the one-year letterman. 6'4", 240. He's a good player. They they think he's an outstanding athlete. Got a chance to be as good as a lot of the guys they've had here, some of their great defensive linemen. Just keep an eye on number 90. 99, Dean Browning, Lynn Matson, number 78. Nelson, two tight ends. Nelson and Carson. Carson's in the game right now. Another had some problems here. Back to throw. Rowan got Smith throwing. It is complete. Good for the first down. The ball to 46. Sim Nelson, the tight end, making the play. Well, this is a good play. A little bleg action here. He fakes the ball to his right and then rolled out. Uh, Stuart Hill was not quite putting the pressure on him that he should have. He, he, I think he was fooled a little bit by the fake, and uh, uh, Smith had time to throw and found a guy open. Nelson, four catches for 53 yards in the ball game so far. Carthens comes out, wide receiver goes back in. First and 10 for Michigan now at their own 46. Huskies come up now in a three-man front again. Hand off to Rogers. Nothing on the left side. Huskies close it off in a hurry. Gets only a yard. You're looking at Freddie Small over there, along with Lynn Matson and Dean Brown again on the play. That's a pretty stout defense. They've uh, they were very impressive last week. Uh, they're doing a great job this week so far. Michigan prides itself in being able to run the football, especially inside. They just haven't been able to do it. Inside the tackles. Kerry Smith comes in for Rick Rogers now. He's a two-year letterman from Grand Rapids, Michigan. His first appearance in the ball game. Second and eight. The ball at the 48. The Michigan 48. Smith to throw. Looks again. Complete and hit immediately at 
the 46-yard line was Nelson, the tight end. Good tackle by Stuart Hill. Short of the first down by three yards. So it's going to bring up now third and three. You know that uh, option that Michigan runs where they where they either fake the ball or give the ball to the fullback. If you can establish the fullback, you know, then you, it, it sets up everything else, and they just haven't been able to do that today. Third down. With 4-12 to play here in the second quarter. Huskies leading 10-3. Third and three. At the Washington 46. Smith to throw. Time throws to the outside. It is complete for the first down. Across the 35 to the 34. And Gilvani Johnson is the man who made the play for the Wolverine. Now this, this is a good play by Pearson. He's He's got good coverage, but the ball's well thrown. And uh, they were in a man coverage. There was no underneath support there from the linebackers to get in the ball's way so it was just a well executed offensive play two tight ends in the game again nelson and carthens for michigan first and ten at the 34 the washington 34 good michigan drive fullback right side and gets hit as it goes to the 32 picks up only a couple of yards in the play dan rice the fullback the sophomore from roxbury massachusetts Good look at him right there, number 36. One year Letterman. He started in the Rose Bowl last year, a sprinter out of high school. A guy who can really fly. Make a change now. Carthens goes out of the ball game for Michigan. They put a wide receiver back in. Second and eight at the 32. The Washington 32. Michigan trailing 10 to 3. Pullback in motion. Smith over the middle. Wide open is the tight end. Down to the 20 to the 15 and a first down. Another Michigan first down. Nelson again is wide open. Now he has been wide open time after time in a ball game. Here's Smith. All they're doing here, Bruce, is just hooking the tight end right up over the middle between both inside linebackers. And, How do you cover uh, that? Well, <laughs> there's a number of wings you can okay. do, but they were in the in wrong hurry. one then. Yeah. In a hurry. Six catches for Nelson for 77 yards. Steve Smith, you wonder what kind of day he's having, 10 to 12 for 107 yards. That's pretty good. 241 to play. Second quarter. Outside, Rogers going to be run down. Back behind the 15 and driven back to the 16. Good play by the Huskies that time. Stuart Hill was there. You yeah. see Krakowski was also there. Uh, Joe Kelly. Watch Joe Kelly. He's on the left. You can't see him now. There he is, number 36. Just staying inside out on the ball carrier. Vince being alert for the was also there. Yeah, and all Britain came up, and he, again, he was the force guy. He was the guy responsible for turning the play inside to the pursuit. That's they lose excellent a yard. defensive play. Second and 11 at the 16 for the Wolverines. The clock now becomes a very important factor here as we're down to two minutes left in the half. Smith back to throw. Looking over the middle. Was it complete? Yes, and a great, great diving catch. catch. Oh, a super catch that time. By Nelson again. This time to the six-yard line, but just short of a first down by a yard. He hit him with a bullet. And a great diving catch by Nelson. That was really a good play. He was again well covered, and uh, it was not a well-thrown ball. It was a little bit low, but he made a great catch. 6'2", 235, a sophomore. Third and what, one? Third and one. Third and one. At the seven. A long one. And a long count. In motion. Smith rolling right. Over the middle, knocked away. And a great defensive play. Almost picked off by Robert Leapheart. Intended for Nelson again. You go to the well too many times. Pretty soon somebody's going to pick it off. And this, almost this was a surprising play. They've got third and a long one. And they, and they come out throwing the ball. Robert made a nice play on it. Now, they're going to go for it. I think I'd have taken my chances running the ball there. Leapart comes out. Kelly comes back in. Fourth and two. Do the Huskies dig in? Four-man front. And off to Rogers. Going to be hit very, very close to the first down. And it depends I, on where they mark it. <laughs> I don't think he made it. I really don't. I think he's going to be inches short of making it. If they put now, the ball over the five, I think he might have made it. This but if they I, don't. This is what they should have done the last play. Third down, they should have handed the ball off to the tailback. Great play by Holmes. Great play by Holmes. 
Ronnie Holmes just bent him back. But I'm with you. I don't think they made it either. Now the ball has to go about six inches yeah. over the five yard line. Well, you keep an eye on it with us. All depends on where the mark was. <laughs> Huskies felt they didn't get a good mark. If they don't make it here, this we'll is going to be a great momentum. I don't think they did. Oh. It's very, very close. No, they didn't. No, they didn't make it. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, oh. You talk about a lift. This Husky Stadium yeah. crowd comes alive. 105 to play in the first half. Don James talking to his coaches on the sideline now. Look at Bo. Bo. Bo's a little upset. <laughs> Bo's getting he? after that official down there. You can't Michigan see it. drive was for 65 yards. They ran a lot of time off the clock. They did it the way they do it so well. Control the ball. Now, Washington, 105 to play here in the first half. Huskies leading 10 to 3. They obviously are just going to run it out. I think you do anything here. No, I don't think Hand they'll take Straight anything. ahead to Hunt. Hunt's hit by about four people and picks up oh, a couple of yards on the play. Takes it out to the seventh. Clock continues to run. 54 seconds to go here in the half. And Michigan's going to call a timeout. Should have called a little bit sooner. They lost it. They lost about the, yeah, seven or eight seconds. Yes, there. They did. It's, it's it's difficult then. What do you do? You look over to the side. And, you know, the coach may be jumping up and down and hollering at you. But unless you see him right away, because you're going to be involved in the play and you're going to lose those uh, seven yeah, or eight and seconds. They're, they're going to be critical, too, because uh, if, if, if Michigan could force the Huskies to punt here, they'd have a shot maybe at a couple of plays and uh, you know, might be able to get in position to kick a field goal right at the end of the half. We have a final score for you. Texas 20 and Auburn 7 is a final. We mentioned 49 seconds left to play here in the first half from Husky Stadium in Seattle. Husky scoring on a 19-yard pass from Pelour to Dave Stransky. Time of possession about even. Washington 15:30 and Michigan 13:41. Washington dominated play for a while, but Michigan put together that long 65-yard drive and an outstanding defensive play by Washington on the goal line. So Steve Pelour comes back in the huddle to talk with his football team. Ohio State 7, Oklahoma nothing in the first quarter. Second and eight, the ball at the Washington 7. Sterling Hines to the right side, gets the ball out to the 10 and near the 11. He's going to be short by about five yards, the first down. Bring up third and five for Washington as Hines picks up three on the play. Michigan immediately calls timeout. Now, 39 seconds to play here in the first half. This is Michigan's last timeout. So the Huskies have an opportunity now just to run out the clock. How in the world can they get it back? Well, they can't. I don't think they can they, either. Michigan unless... has no more timeouts, you say? No, that's it. They're out of timeout. That's it. So there's no way they can stop it anymore. That's it. A fumble. All they can hope for that's is a right. fumble. The Huskies have an opportunity to run out the clock here and go into the dressing room with a 10 to 3 lead. What a lift to stop Michigan at the five just before the half and give yourself an opportunity to go into the dressing room with that lead. Yeah, from a Michigan standpoint, it was important that they get something on the board after uh, that long drive and uh, they didn't even get the field goal. Would you have gone, or is that good strategy, to go for the first down and not kick the field goal with that much time left? I think I think you got to get something on the board. I, I think it was a long one. Uh, I think I'd have kicked the field goal. 39 seconds to play and a half. Huskies have a third and five at their own 10. Michigan can't stop the clock anymore. Floor, handoff, high. He'll get first down. Takes the ball out across the 15 to the 17. Washington first down. Well, that Washington offensive line just blew a hole to the Michigan defense that time. Well, this a is a draw, draw play to Sterling, and it's the first time they've run the draw all day, as I recall. Came at a good time, third and five. Uh, it's a tough, tough situation for Michigan. They didn't know quite what to expect, and uh, Sterling made a good play. The Huskies 12 first downs in the ballgame so far. Hines, seven rushes for 29 yards. Now just 80 last week against Northwestern. Just fall on it now, Steve. 13 seconds to play. And off left side hunt is hit as he gets to the line of scrimmage and the clock will just tick away now that'll be the final play of the first half the crowd they come alive 
as the Huskies lead Michigan by a score of 10 to 3. And we have seen a very, very good football game. Boy, this and it's 30 more minutes to go, and it's going to be exciting this is before great. it is over. The Huskies have really looked good, Bruce. I mean, offensively, defensively, uh, the only question mark, of course, uh, is, their, is their punting game. You know, they haven't booted the ball too good punting. They've only had to do it one time, so if they don't have to punt, it won't matter. But uh, they've been very, very impressive. Washington going to the locker room right now, and we will go to the sideline where Harry Sloan has Husky head coach Don James. Here's Harry and Don. Don, three outstanding drives, and uh, two of them you scored. You've got to be really happy with that stand down there defensively. Well, that, that was a big play for us. We've got to play better defensively to get back in this thing and, uh, and have a chance to win. We just, we've got to stop the long drives. Offensively, though, only one mistake put you out of well, it. Well, we're moving the ball, so we've got to give our offense more of an opportunity. Okay, best of luck to you in the second half. Bruce, we were talking about where the Huskies were ranked 16th. It has to hurt the Huskies inside because Kelly and Krakowski will be the inside linebackers. Score out of Pullman. Arizona, 17. Washington State, 6. Six minutes remaining in the third quarter. You know, Bruce, we were talking about where the Huskies were ranked 16th. If they win today, they're liable to move up into that top 10. I'm sure they probably would. I would think so, too. Yeah. Washington to kick it off. Jagger to kick it. Johnson and Johnson. Gilvani, number 26. Steve Johnson, number 24. Comes the kick. High driving kick about a yard deep in the end zone. Gilvani Johnson going to run it. Looking for some daylight. Gets to the 10. Breaks the tackle. Still on his feet to the 25. And out of bounds to the 27 on a big hit. Big hit Tony Alvarado made a great hit down on the sideline, too. He was a part of it. Vesti yeah, Jackson got the, the, the key tackle there. You know, he didn't put that one as deep into the end zone as he normally does, Bruce, but he his hang time was excellent. It was so high, it gives the... The, uh, the coverage people, a lot of time to get down there, and those are tough to, to get out of there in good field position. However, uh, it was a good return by Michigan. Michigan takes over. First and 10 now. They have the ball just short of the 28. We'll call it the 28. Third quarter just underway. Eye formation for the Wolverines. Interesting to see what they do. They indeed make some changes. Fullback, run on left side. A good blocking, but he picks up only a couple of yards on the play. Takes the ball out to the 32. Greg Armstrong, the fullback, the senior from Middleton, Ohio, only a couple of yards on the play. And it will be second. And I'm going to say his knee touched the ground over the 32. It'll be second and six, given four. Again, Michigan would like to uh, be able to give to the ball to the fullback between tackles and establish some kind of a running game with him, which sets up their outside option game. And uh, so far, they have not been able to do that. Hammerstein comes in to replace Clay Miller, their two-year letterman the right tackle position. Strength to the left side. Whistle blows. Going to be delay a game against Michigan. It's going to cost them five yards. Now, they've had some mix-up today in, in trying to get things going. So Michigan will be pushed now back to the 26. And it'll be second and 11 from the 26. You know, an interesting matchup to watch is uh, that uh, Stephon uh, Humphreys, the All-American guard for Michigan, going against uh, uh, Joe Krakowski from, uh, from the Huskies, uh, playing that left inside linebacker position. They're, they're battling each other most of the time, and it's, it's been a pretty good battle so far. Second and 11 for Michigan now. The ball at the 26, make it the 27. Back to throw Smith. Wide open across the 40 to the 44 was Johnson. Gilvani Johnson make it Vince Bean, as you see right here. Well, this was a play-action pass, and, uh, you know, it's a it's a pretty good call. I, I think the Huskies were in some kind of a zone there. And again, neither team has been able to exert a lot of pressure on the quarterback, and when you've got a lot of time to throw, you're going to find somebody open eventually. So the Wolverines pick up the first, first down. Here in the second half, they put together a 65-yard drive. They got stopped at the five late in the first half. Huskies up in a three-man front. Slipping to the outside is Smith. He'll run out of bounds in Washington territory at the Husky 46. And he'll be very, very close to the first down. That was an option play. They had the, uh, the fullback handle. They had the pitch man handle, but they didn't have the quarterback handle. And that's the second part of the triple option that Michigan runs out of their eye formation. And uh, somebody who was responsible for tackling the quarterback was either blocked or out of position. So the Wolverines come right out and pick up a couple of quick first downs. Total offense the first half. Michigan 213, Washington 189. Well, that's added up right to now. Yeah. 
in the second uh, half. We're now 13-20 to play here in the third quarter. First and 10, ball at the 46. Rodgers hit hard as he gets to the 44. So Krakowski. Krakowski making the stop, number 56 as you see. He's the junior from Fremont, California. This is just the off-tackle play to the tailback out of the I formation. Krakowski from his inside linebacker position. He probably beat the block by Humphreys, pursued inside out, made a great play at the line of scrimmage. That's exactly how he ought to play it. Heck of a play. His father played for Oakland and Washington in the NFL a few years ago, two-year letterman. The what? That other league? That other league. Remember that <laughs> league? <laughs> One setback. Pitch back to Rodgers again. Run short side of the field. Driven out of bounds as he goes to about the 42. Fred Small made a good play on that one, uh, Bruce. He uh, he was just being blocked man for man by the tight end, and uh, he beat him and, and made the play. Just the way he's supposed to do it. So now it will bring up third and six at the Washington 42. Two first downs for Michigan here in the second half. Washington leads it by a score of 10 to 3. Again, one setback. That's the fullback in motion to the left side. Smith, time. Going to run again, throws over the middle, almost intercepted and almost caught. It was finally caught one-handed yeah. at the 30-yard line. Caught by Bean. You get a chance to see this one again. And uh, this, this was almost intercepted. Uh, it sh probably should have been intercepted. They were in a man coverage. Nobody open. Good coverage right away. And uh, Pearson had his hands on it, and it bounced the wrong way. Good Bean. play by number 25, Bean. Fred Small is down at midfield, and they're working on his leg. That could be critical. And that could be critical because the Huskies have lost Tim Meamber already with a strain. And we will be back and find out what happened to him right after this. Every 10 seconds during the past year, someone, somewhere, for some mysterious reason, switched to Burger King. Switch. 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 Who knows why? Switch. But it's added up to millions of switchers. Maybe even you. Introducing the amazing Renault Encore. Look how it feels to mold to the road with four wheels suspended independently. Feel it flow through hairpin curves. Look how the new Encore feels as it almost ignores gas pumps and provides front wheel drive for extraordinary cornering. For an amazing 57.55, the new Renault Encore. Amazing. The one to watch. Renault. Washington Renault Jeep Dealers. The ones to watch. Fred Small has helped to the sideline, and they're working on his knee in the sideline. You see over there, Jim Mora comes in to replace him. And we have to tell you that, obviously, <laughs> the son, our color man, Jim Mora, number 96, is in the ballgame right now. First and 10 for Michigan. They have the ball at the Washington 30. Third, first down of this drive. Play action. Rodgers, left side, bounces off the tackle and takes the ball down to the 26. Picks up four yards on the play. Make it second and six for Michigan there. 11.56 to play here in the third quarter. Washington leading 10 to three. Huskies only touchdown coming on a 19-yard pass from Pelour to Strensky. Michigan trying to get something going now. Side bench, there's Fred Small at right knee. It's wrapped with ice on it. High formation. Second and six. Husky slide down three man front. Option. Smith keeps. Hit hard at the 20. Oh, he's hit hard at the 20. He goes down, and you wonder how that back feels and the shoulder feels right now as he gets up slow. Here it is again. Well, they're running the option a little bit more this half than they were earlier, and uh, the left side of the Michigan line did a good job of blocking right there. And uh, again, whoever was accounted. Uh, whoever had the quarterback on that option, as far as the responsibility is concerned, wasn't quite where he ought to be. Uh, they seem to be doing something with the option to be t taking advantage of the Husky defense. Smith, four rushes for 33 yards now. Third and one. All oh, right at the 20-yard line. 
fullback straight ahead gets the first down rolls down to the 18. That was Greg Armstrong in for Dan Rice at fullback. Greg's having some problems right there as you see it's going to have to come to the sideline. So it's going to pick up the first down for Michigan. So the ball now moves down to the Washington 17 is where they mark it down halfway between the 18 17. Don James yes I would be concerned right now because Michigan is on the move. The Wolverines taking the uh, kickoff to start the second half and they are driving first and ten at the Washington 17. Hash mark left side Smith to throw. The screen out to the outside got a block still on his feet down inside the ten to the nine and that's Rogers his tailback. And he picks up nine yards on the play. Yeah, this is just a, uh, uh, what they, most people call it a read screen. They're looking for the tight end or the split split guy going down running a curl route. And, and if both those guys are covered, what the third option is basically the back who's flared out to the side. And uh, it's a pretty good play. It's a, it's a widely used play uh, throughout college and professional football. Again, you're trying to get one-on-one -on -one with the back on a linebacker. 9.50 to play, third quarter. Michigan has it. Second. And one at the nine. Fullback. Hit as he goes to the seven yard line. May have been able to drive ahead to the six and near the five is Rick Rogers. That was a good effort by the back. Well, the Huskies need to come up with another goal line stand here. Well, here we go again. Now they have it first down goal to go at the five. Husky fans concerned across the way. Their team leading by a score of 10 to 3. Rogers, 14 carries for 52 yards so far in the ballgame. Got to make something happen here. Got to come up Rikowski, with a turnover. Kelly, Hill, Mora, the linebackers right now. Smith on a keeper slips and falls at the five. It was covered pretty well. Jimmy Mora was out there and covered it well, and Smith tried to cut inside. And it really wasn't anything there as his feet go right out from under him. Again, they're, they're trying to run the option a little bit more than they were the first half. And here again, they had all the responsibilities covered. They had a guy in the quarterback. Good job. You see Krakowski in there to fill in the hole. Mora took the outside man. So it is second and goal at the five. Rodgers and Rice, the running backs for Michigan. Rodgers, a hole, big hole. Just waltzes into the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan. 8.40 to play in the third quarter. Michigan scores. Well, normally on a play like this, what happens is it's, it's, it's an off-tackle play, but out of the eye formation, and this is one of the advantages of the eye where that guy takes the ball deep. He has a lot of time to read what's happening along the front, and normally the cutback area is, is what's open, and this is what happened here. Obviously what happened was the, the, the backside or the, or the left end, left outside linebacker, their pursuit was cut off, and that left a, a big hole. <laughs> Todd Schlope in to attempt the extra point and try to tie the ball game. The barefoot kicker just drills it through the uprights. So with 8.40 to play here in the third quarter, the score, Washington 10 and Michigan 10. That was... If you want table service with your pizza, you pay for both. But you pay for pizza at Godfather's Pizza. It's a bigger pie. All the fancy stuff goes on the pie. Like this large Godfather's Pizza combo. Seven ingredients tips the scales at nearly five pounds. It's a bigger bag your butt. <laughs> Told you. Godfather's Pizza. Coming soon to Centralia, 38th and Steel in Tacoma, and Lacey. Western Airlines has taken a very good schedule and torn it apart to make it our very best schedule for business. We're building it around arrivals, not just departures, because when you get there is just as important as when you leave. Call your travel agent or Western. Our new business schedule will make a difference wherever you fly. Western Airlines, we've got a name to live up to. Michigan takes the opening kickoff here in the second half. They move at 72 yards and 14 plays, 6-12. Passes on the clock, and they tie it 10-10 on a five-yard run. There you see it here. A five-yard run by Rodgers, the tailback. So 8.40 to play in the third quarter. Washington 10, Michigan 10. Fluffy is set to kick it off for Michigan. Back deep for Washington, standing on the goal line. Near side, Cookie Jackson. And on the far side, Danny Green. 
be interesting now, Jim, to see exactly what uh, Washington can do to start the second half. Huskies linebackers are injured. Fred Small on the sideline. Tim Meamber out of the ball game. It's important that uh, that the Husky offense come back and uh, move the ball like they did in the first half. Low driving kick. Green fumbles the ball on the goal line. Finally picks it up. Ooh. Spins away, flags fly, gets I, the ball. I have a face mask. At the 13 and may have a face mask. Danny Green. Now he's going to fumble the football. Yeah. He... Picks it up. Makes a pretty good play right here. They, uh, good job there. I think, oh, I didn't see the face mask, but I guess we got it. Yep. So the penalty against the Wolverines, a break for Washington now, as the Huskies will uh, have a little more room to move the ball. That helps. And he'll tell us exactly what it is. Grafting the face mask against the defense, five yards, first and ten. Beryl Sargon, the referee, five-yard penalty is all. And it will be now first and ten for Washington. The ball on their own, 19 penalties. Michigan six for 45. Washington one for five yards. Only one penalty in the ball game for Washington so far. Hunt and Sterling Hines are the running backs of Washington. Pelor to throw to the outside. Complete to Patterson. Breaks one tackle. Tries to get away. Still on his feet. And out of bounds after picking up the first down. Out at the 33. Mike Mowry was the man who finally ran him out of bounds. I think this is really good that they come out right after getting scored on. They come out first and ten on their own, uh, down deep in their territory, and come out throwing the ball. And uh, good throw from Steve to Mark. And then Mark makes a great play here for some extra yardage. Gets the ball out to the 33. First and ten for Washington there. I didn't know Mark was that elusive. Patterson, three catches for 43 yards in the game so far. Michigan 10, Washington 10. Huskies have the ball for the first time in the second half. Walt Hunt over the right side picks up a couple of yards on the play, takes it across the 35 to the 36. Third and make it second and seven as he gives him three on the play. Now at the Husky sideline, that's Mora number 96 down in there. Is that Coach Hall talking to him there? It's Coach Hall. Tell him how to, how to defend that option <laughs> game. Exactly I'm sure. Right. <laughs> they want to talk that over. Hunt in motion to the left side. Second and seven. Quick pass over the middle is complete to the tight end. And Steve, that was to Larry Michael. Steve did a good job there of reading the blitz, uh, Bruce, and, and hitting the hot receiver. Here, we'll see it right here. He sees the blitz coming right there. He's got his option. He's going to go right to the tight end. Great job. Good catch by Michael. Yep. Good read by Steve Pelour. Just short of the first down. The ball at the 43. Third and a yard. Just a short yard. The ball at the 43. We're going to make this. Straight ahead to Hunt. He gets the ball to the 45 and gets the first down. Wall Hunt behind some pretty good blocking on the left side. Just powers his way. To the 45. First down for Washington there. Huskies needed a first down. They want to give up the football right now. 10-10. If, if they can go down and get something here, at least get some good field position, I think it's going to help the defense. You know, keep them off the field a little bit, let them recover. Steve Pallor, number 16, running the attack. The <laughs> senior from Interlake High School in Bellevue. He's been very impressive so far. Pallor to throw. More pressure. Looks again. Throws over the middle. It's going to be intercepted. And that may be six points. Slips and falls, and that's Mike Mowry, the inside linebacker. Flag goes down as he runs the ball back to the 40, make it to 35. Now they're starting to put some pressure on Steve. I think they realized they needed to do more of this, and they had a blitz coming, number 49. Steve probably made a bad throw there. Uh, scrambling for his life. It's tough to see where all the defenders are, and Mallory made a good play. Trying to get to the tight end. Yep. So Michigan will take over the football and they have it, but they're going to be hit with a penalty here. And it's going to, personal foul penalty is going to take the ball all the way back to midfield. That helps the Huskies a little bit. On the return, flipping against the offense. First down. So Michigan has the football now. 
First and ten right at midfield with a score tied 10-10. They took the opening kickoff of the second half and they drove it 73 yards, went down and scored. 15-yard return for Michigan on the interception by Mowry and a 15-yard penalty. Smith still at quarterback. He's gone all the way. Fullback. Eddie Garrett in the ball game for the first time. Picks up a couple of yards in the play and takes it to the 48. Kerry Smith also in for the second time. As Bo Schembechler now is making some changes in his running backs. As Rogers, and Rice, and Armstrong didn't do the job for him before. He's going to Smith and, and Garrett in there. Second and eight. The ball at the 48. Huskies with some linebackers missing right now in Miember and Fred Small trying to fill in the holes. Pullback. Garrett to the 43. Short of the first down by a couple of yards. That's that I formation. Uh, uh, again, the guy gets the ball so deep, you know, it's, well, like, what's this, the human wave we got going here, Bruce? <laughs> As Husky fans begin to come alive. Last time this happened, I think Michigan said, we can't hear. <laughs> and I'm not sure they're going to be able to hear right now. Big down here. Third and two. Third and three at Third the 43. Eye formation. And Michigan turns and said, wait a minute. We can't hear. The officials take a timeout. An official timeout. And we'll see what in the world's going on. Would they do that because of the noise? Yeah. Yeah. Michigan will make a change. Johnson was in the ball game. He comes out. Bean comes back in for him. And I'm not sure what in the world you do about that. Well, <laughs> I, I'm not either. There's not much you can do about it. You know, you you can appeal to the uh, the crowd. To, to, but the, well, the score tied 10-10 in hey, Michigan. Third oh, and three I know, in the fourth. But uh, I'm sure Bo has instructed his quarterback that if you can't hear, just turn around and tell the official. The crowd is alive. Hey, he turns said, I can't hear. The official says timeout again, and we'll talk about it. Now the Husky players are saying, okay, wait a minute. That's fine. You know, you've done your thing. Now let's quiet it down so we can get this third down play and maybe Washington get the ball back. Dean Browning. I'm not sure of the... Uh... I see what it is yeah. now. Every time that the official now blows the ball dead because of the crowd, Washington will be charged with an official timeout. They only get three in each half. They could run out of timeouts here in a hurry. Husky players saying quiet down. Third and three. Big play. The 43. The Washington 43. 10-10 time. Michigan with the football. High formation. Smith pitch to the outside. Plenty of running room. Going to be hit as he gets the first down, but gets across the 40 and down to inside the 35 and knocked out of bounds. We got a penalty flag back here, too. I hope it's not a late hit. I hear again on a critical situation, Michigan is going to the option. It was a quick pitch. There wasn't much of an option to it. All Britain played off the blocker. He's got the pitch, the, the option, the pitch man right there. He just had gotten knocked off his feet a little bit and, and wasn't quite able to make the play. Penalty flag is down. It's going to be first down for Michigan. The ball will be marked at the 35-yard line, and we'll see what the penalty is going to be. 5.25 to play here in the third quarter. And we'll see what in the world the referee has to say. He's calling it a first down. Clipping. Clipping against Michigan after the first down. Clipping against Michigan. That's one of those plays that you say, you that's, sure it didn't occur yeah, before he picked up the first <laughs> that's down? A, that's an interesting play. You don't see that very often. Michigan, eight penalties now for 75 yards in the ball game. Washington, one for five. It's Dead ball. And 25. Flipping. It's the offense. First down and 25. You heard first and 25, the ball back at midfield. This is where the drive started, wasn't it? First yes, it was. <laughs> They picked off the pass, had the penalty back yeah. at the 50. So here we go again. It's like those other plays didn't occur. <laughs> Huskies up in a four-man front now. High formation. 
Big hole. The right side. Smith pulls his way down to the 36. Short of the first down by about 11 yards. This is a, 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 a kind of a sprint draw type action, and uh, oh, I don't know, Bruce. Uh, some uh, that left side of the Husky defense either got caught out of position or got blocked, but uh, it's it's a good call on, on first and long, kind of a, a draw type action, and uh, uh, probably the Huskies were in some type of a defense that defending the pass, and they caught him. Rogers in for Kerry Smith now, a tailback for Michigan. 434 to play here in the third quarter. Second and 11, the ball at the 36. Smith to throw. Complete and out of bounds at the 16. Good enough for the first down. Going to Vince Bean. Smith has been right on target. Okay, play action pass. I don't think Bean was the primary. Caught him on an out route right over the outside linebacker's hands. Good throw and a good catch. Jim Moore, the senior from Interlake. Wasn't quite tall enough on that one. 6-1, 201. Almost got a finger on it. First and 10 for Michigan now. The Washington 16. Rodgers and Garrett, the running back. Rodgers. Gets to the 15, down to the 14. The Huskies converging him. You see Matson's on there. Jim Moore also went on the play. Browning, Lee Part, they're all there. I'm going to blame, blame uh, his mother on that on that pass for Bruce. She, <laughs> she's too short. She's too I'd, short. If I'd have married a taller girl, and he'd have been taller and probably knocked that one down or intercepted it. For those of you who don't know what we're talking about, <laughs> Jim Moore, number 96, is the son of our color commentator and the head coach of the Philadelphia Stars, the USFL, Jim Moore. Smith, 15 of 18, 176 yards. Nine of his last 10. Second and eight, the 14. Smith on a keeper. He's going to run to the 10, inside the 10, and gets it down to the 7. So Smith, who is so dangerous running the football, is just red hot, throwing the ball right now against that Husky defensive secondary. Michigan switching some people in their line right now. Huskies also making some changes. I can see why the not having Smith last week... Uh, hurt this team a little bit against Washington State, although they won the game. This guy is really a good-looking athlete. He runs the ball. He's got a good arm. He's the key to their offense. Third and two. The ball at the eight from Michigan. 10-10 tie. 247 to play in the third quarter. Tailback, right side, has the first down. Hit inside the five and goes to the four. Driven back at the four-yard line. Mora in on the play, along with Leapart. But good enough for the first down. Just the off-tackle play with the fullback kicking out on the outside backer. A little soft on that side. They picked it up. It recovered pretty well, but they were just soft initially. Diorio and Miller blocking on the right side for Michigan. Big number 76 you saw there just a moment ago. Stefan Humphreys, preseason All-American. Dixon, preseason All-American as their center. Big people in the middle of that line. First down, goal to go. The ball at the four, the Washington four. Michigan. Trying to score the second touchdown of the second half. Fullback straight ahead. He gets only a yard on the play. That's Eddie Garrett, the sophomore from Milwaukee. They're going to come back with the option here, Bruce, I think, in this next play. Takes the ball down inside the four to near the three is where they'll finally mark it. Washington 10, Michigan 10. The Huskies have not been able to stop the Wolverines here in the second half. Michigan came out. Took the second half kickoff, drove it down for a touchdown. They get the ball back in an interception here and have an opportunity to score. And they're eating up most of the clock here in the third quarter. Two minutes exactly remain. Second and three. The ball at the three. High formation. Big hole. Left side. Did he get in the end zone? No. Just short of the goal line by a yard. That was Rogers. Working behind Humphreys and Dixon. And James on that side. Doug James, the tackle on the left side. You see Rogers. He's 6'2", 216. He's going to bring up third and goal to go at the one. Dan Rice, the fullback, comes back in the ball game, and Eddie Garrett goes out. Huskies try to dig in. Big play. High formation. Two tight ends in the game. Smith keeps. Option. It's into the end zone as he rolls it down the right side to score. 
to put Michigan on top by a score of 16 to 10. Smith well, running to the outside, and you'll see it again. Again, this is the option play, and, and, and as, I, as I mentioned before, this is probably the toughest play to stop in a goal line defense. And uh, you've got to defend the inside or the, or the, the fullback play first, and uh, you just run out of people when they, when they get outside on you. And uh, this is what happened, and uh, you got the Jim touchdown. Holding, Todd, 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 Todd. Slopey in to attempt the extra point. Michigan 16, Washington 10. 108 to play here in the third quarter. Michigan absolutely dominating the third quarter of play. Kicks up, almost blocked, but it was good. So Michigan leading Washington by a score of 17 to 10 with 108 to play here in the third quarter, and we'll be right back. Price, mileage, quality. Price, mileage, quality. Price, mileage, quality. Price, mileage, quality. Honda. Honda. What other cars are trying to be. See your Puget Sound Honda dealer today. these motor oils would love to make this claim? Well, this one can. Mobile One, the official oil of the 84 Winter Olympics. Steve Smith scores for Washington for uh, Michigan on a one-yard run, rolling it to the outside to put the Wolverines on top of the Huskies by a score of 17 to 10. Now, time of possession. There you see, 50 yards, 11 plays, 5:32 is the time that elapsed. Time of possession in the third quarter, unofficially. Michigan, 11:44. Washington, 151. Michigan yep. dominating play blocking just a little bit better and playing just a little bit better but the Huskies with Fred Small and Timmy Amber on the sideline with injuries having some problems with the linebackers and right now they're having problems trying to stop Michigan Wolverines to kick it off driving kick it will be taken by Cookie Jackson at the 10 hit at the 15 and falls up as you see up to the 18 so the Huskies will put it in play first and 10 at the 18. You know, you take a meamber out of the game, he's 6'3 and a half, 228, replace him with a Kelly, 6'1 and a half, 210. You take a small out of the game, 6'1, 222, and replace him with more, 6'1, 201. You lose a little heft in there, Bruce, and I think this is uh, the difference. Michigan taking advantage of it now. So the Husky offense, now they're going to have to carry the load right now. First and 10, the ball at the 18. Pallor had a pass picked off. A minute ago to the outside to Jock Robinson in the game again and picks up only a yard. Hassel on the outside linebacker position making the stop. All the starters are in in defense right now for Michigan and across the line as you see. DeFelici and Sinsich, Brooks, Hassel, Bourne, Mowry and Lyle. Husky fans concerned. Lot, Hewitt, Cooper and Cochran in the ball game for Michigan. Straight ahead, nothing there. On a second and eight play, as he gets to the 20, maybe back to the line of scrimmage. So it brings up a third down, third and eight. Breno DeFeo was carrying the football for Washington. So the Husky offensive line's gonna have to dig in and blow some holes out of that Michigan defense. Pallor looking to the sideline now. Third and eight, the ball at the Washington 20. Michigan up now in a four-man front. Whistle blows. And that's the end of the third quarter as the clock ticks away to zero and zero. So as time in, the end of the third quarter, the score, Michigan 17, Washington 10. Solid oak. Sturdy cause it's northern Appalachian. Solid oak. Clear as a Minnesota morning. Solid oak. Great old American tradition. Solid oak. Solid oak. That's why we're picking up the right tree. Solid oak. And made right, right in our factory. Solid oak. 
From the mighty northern oak forests comes the long-lasting beauty of natural red oak. And here at the Solid Oak Factory, we've made it a tradition to create rich, handcrafted furniture at down-to-earth prices you can afford. Beautiful, hand-rubbed solid oak furniture for every room in your home. Solid oak. A great old American tradition. Solid oak. That's why we're picking up the right trees. Solid oak. And made right. Right at our factory, Solid Oak. Beautiful, affordable, factory direct furniture from tree to you. Solid Oak. Solid Oak. Michigan 17, Washington 10 as we start the fourth quarter, the final 15 minutes of action. Give me an indication of what will happen in that third quarter. The Huskies only 21 total yards, Michigan 145 total yards, and two touchdowns. The Huskies for the game so far, 210 yards, Michigan. 326. The Huskies now third and eight at the 20. Pelora to throw. Going to be hit from behind. The ball's loose. Ball bouncing down to the two, to the one. It will go in the end zone, and I think Michigan has it for a touchdown. Steve Pelor back to pass, was hit from behind. The ball bounced loose. And the Huskies, instead of being able to get the ball and fall on it for a safety, saw Michigan grab the ball and recover it in the end zone and score the touchdown. So just like that, Michigan 23, Washington 10. Mike Mowry was the man who recovered the ball. Junior, Del Cobb, Illinois. Looked like Dotson was trying to fall on it in the end zone, which would have been a safety for Michigan, but the ball bounced out of there, and the Michigan guy got it for the touchdown. Well, when it rains, it pours, doesn't it? It certainly does. Well, Don James, yes, I would be concerned right now with what's happened here in the second half. Sloping number 99 in to attempt the extra point, and just like that, 23 to 10 on the first play of the fourth quarter. Sloping can make it 24. Kicks up, looks good, and is is just like that. 14-51 to play in the football game. Michigan 24, Washington 10, and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back doing the Puyallup at the Pacific West Sport and Racquet Club with the 21 days free Puyallup Fair Special. Wow, look what they're adding. Another indoor tennis court, new Nautilus equipment and heavy weights, a complete gymnasium, and there's still our favorite, the cement pond. They're expanding the Puyallup Club. Get 21 days free for the whole family at all Pacific West locations. Tacoma, Puyallup, Federal Way, Kenton, Kirkland. Better get quacking. U.S. Grade A Large Eggs. We crack them fresh, we cook them fresh. Start your morning with the best. McDonald's and you. When Ray Ramsey hears it's going to be sunny, he double checks just to make sure. Satellite says no rain. No precip on the radar. But just before his forecast, he makes one final check. Aha! Ray Ramsey weather at 5, 6, 30 and 11. If you remember last week, Washington didn't turn the ball over at all. Played a perfect ball game as far as turnovers were concerned. Well, here, three Washington turnovers have led to Michigan scores. Two touchdowns and a field goal. Hunt had a fumble early. Pelour an intercepted pass. And Pelour now a fumble. Recovered in the end zone for a touchdown by Mike Mowry. 24-10 uh, to 10 in favor of Michigan. When Harry uh, interviewed Bob Stoll, the offensive coordinator on the sidelines before the game Bruce the Bob's comment was that in a game like this the team that makes the least number of mistakes will probably win well there it is right there on your screen uh, Michigan no turnovers Washington three and as you indicated all three have led to Michigan points well as we would mentioned too, the Michigan was able to score two touchdowns on two drives really to start the second half and kind of the fire went out of the, the Washington attack right then sure did Slopey to kick it off Huskies now really have the work cut out from low driving kick it will be picked up at the 25 whistle blows and Finney had the football but his knee was down when he picked it up and Rick Finney will stay in at fullback for Washington the attendance 60,638 the fifth largest crowd ever at Husky Stadium well they saw a great first half Washington leading by a score of 10 to 3. But the football game has belonged to Bo Schembechler's Michigan Wolverines here in the second half. They lead it 
24 to 10 with 14.49 to go. Huskies to the line of scrimmage. And the running backs now, Jock Robinson and Rick Fenney. The freshman in motion. Hadn't carried a ball yet. Pelour over the middle to his tight end. It is complete to the 30, picks up five yards. Second and five for Washington there. And that's Larry Michael making the catch, the senior from East Wenatchee, Eastmont High School. You know, his father was an all-conference center at Washington. Is that back, right? Yes, way back in uh, 1950, I believe it was. Do you remember him? 48 to 50. <laughs> I think we were doing this then. We? <laughs> Second and five for Washington. At their own 30. Split backs. Back to throw. To the outside. It is complete. To Danny Green. Good enough for the first down. Out of bounds at the 45. Cochran covering on the play for Michigan. This is really a good throw by Steve. Off the bootleg action. Had to throw it over the underneath defender to, to Danny before he, before he got out of bounds. Excellent throw. First down for Washington. Yeah, they're going to say he went out of bounds at the 44. First and 10 for Washington at their own 44. Wide receivers put out wide to the right. And off to Jacques Robinson. <laughs> Pelour this half, four for five for 39 yards. One of them picked off. He's still having a good day. Can't blame him for that fumble down there in the end zone. Jock picks up about four on the play. They make it second and six now for Washington at their own 47. Second and seven on the 47. Robinson goes to the sideline. Walt Hunt comes back in for Washington. And uh, the up back now... Cookie Jackson. Pelour. Midfield. Run out of bounds in Michigan territory at the Michigan 49. And depends on where they mark it. Should be good enough for the first, the first down. first down. Now they talk about Smith being a good runner. Steve's a good runner, too. Pelour is a good runner, too. Harry takes advantage of, you know, he's a, he was a real good high school athlete. Good, uh, good basketball player. Excellent basketball player. And He's not probably probably not quite as quick as Smith, but uh, he can run the football. We'll give you a score from Pullman in just a moment. Huskies have it first and ten now at the 45. Cookie Jackson. It's away from one man, but that's really about it. Gets the ball to the 45. Picks up only a yard on the play. It's second and nine for Washington at the Michigan 45. Cookie Jackson. The guy back in school this year. Franklin High School. One of nine children. Got a brother that played at Louisville, in fact. Clock continues to run. 12.57 to play in the football game. Michigan 24, Washington 10. Huskies led it 10-3 at halftime. Second and nine. Sprint draw. Robinson. Tries to get back and get some daylight of his UC doesn't get very much. Gets the ball to the 44 and picks up only a yard on the play. As you said, Bruce, this is a sprint draw to, to uh, Jacques. And uh, actually, Hunt made a pretty good block there on the outside linebacker. Jacques probably should have stayed inside. He tried to break it outside and nowhere to go. Third down, third and eight for Washington, the 43. Washington, eight of 11 on third downs so far in the ball game. Need a play here. Great. Good for the first down to the 27-yard line to Danny Green. Brad Cochran covering on the play, but Danny Green, great concentration and a great catch. Here's an end zone shot of it. Play action to Jacques. A lot of time, good throw, great catch by Danny Green. Pretty well defended, as you can see right there. Oh, Just a great catch by Danny Green. Keeps the Husky drive alive. The ball now at the Michigan 27. Huskies need to get a score on the scoreboard right now. 11.54 to play in the game. Michigan 24, Washington 10. Walt Hunt, nothing on the right side. He is in hard. He gets to the line of scrimmage. The whole left side of that defensive line. DeFelice, Sinchez are in there along with Hassel and, and Boren. So, second and nine to give Hunt only one. The ball at the 27. 11.25 to play. 
here in the football game. Michigan dominating play in the second half, leading now 24 to 10 after the Huskies won the first half 10 to 3. Allure throwing complete to Hunt. Fights his way to the 22. Short of the first down by about four yards. Hewlett making the stop for Michigan from the strong safety position. I'll tell you, uh, the Michigan line is, is doing a little bit better job of rushing Steve this second half. And Steve felt a little pressure right there, had to scramble out of the pocket. Hunt makes a great second effort right there to pick up oh, three or four extra yards. Here we go, third down again, third and four. The ball at the 22. Husky split backs. Jock Robinson back in the ball game. Below, looks to the outside. Throws. Man's there for the first down. Great catch by Patterson on the outside. They'll mark the ball at the 14. Here again, this to me, this, this is a great play by Steve Below. Third down. He had to get the first down. Right on target. Good catch by Mark Patterson. That, that's, that's the kind of performance you need out of your quarterback. In the, in the clutch downs, you got to come through. Pelour has completed five consecutive passes for 47 yards yeah. since that interception. Senior from Interlake looks over that Michigan defense. First and ten now. The ball to 14. Pelour to throw. Going to hit from behind, but he throws the feet to Danny Green inside the five. They'll mark it all the way down at the three. Again, another mark of a, of, a, of a good quarterback here, Bruce. I'm sure he feels the pressure coming in right there. But hangs in the pocket, just, just stays in there and waits for the guy to get open and throws a good pass for the for the first down. Good play by Steve. Not, not quite a first down, second short. Second and oh, about a yard. The ball at the four. going to get down now to the three. They originally had the ball marked at the three and then moved it back to the four. I think they changed the mind. He moves down to the three. DeFelice making the stop. The senior from Trenton, Michigan. And Hunt looks to the sideline. I'm really impressed with Steve Pelura this drive. He's uh, come back from the interception and uh, I don't think he's thrown an incompletion. Has he? Yes. First down goal to goal for Washington at the three. Joe Gray in for Kevin Brooks. Defensive tackle position for Michigan now. 9-11 to play in the game. Pitch to the outside. Hunt. Back over the left side to score. Hunt runs right through Boren and Mowry on the play to score. They get the Huskies right back in the ball game. This is a toss sweep around the left side. Hunt sees an opening inside. Hits it up in there. Good blocking by the left side. Mallory Maurer, good, good blocking. Knocked him off the ball, and there was a, there was a, a, a crease in the defense, and he took it in. Jagger in to attempt the extra point. See the pass from center. It is dead perfect with 9:06 to play. Huskies right back in the ball game. Michigan 24, Washington 17. It isn't over. No, sure isn't. Great. At the age of three, he was building skyscrapers. It's a skyscraper, Daddy. Yes, it is, son. And at 10, penthouses. Kenny, it's dinner time. By 18, he was working his way through college. Too special, Kenny, too special, the number six, hold the onions. Before he knew it, he was out in the business world. Thank you. With a good idea that needed a little help. John? Ken? You got the plans for the building? Great. Let's go tomorrow. Rainier is one bank willing to grow with you. We have a warehouse. We made a commitment long ago to get involved with good Thanks. ideas. How about your pre-lease commitments? Whether it's a personal line of credit. Just called your office. You got the loan. Great. Or a loan to launch a business empire. It's only two stories, Dad, but it's a beginning. If you've got a goal. Son, it looks like a skyscraper to me. We'll help you get there. He's moved 75 yards on 13 plays. He's you say, Walt Hunt takes it over from the three as Washington gets right back in the football game. 
impressive drive. It is Michigan 24, Washington 17. We have 9.06 to play. Jager to kick it off. You know, if Steve can keep throwing the ball like he did on that drive, they can eat that yardage up pretty quick. Here's a kick. And he drills this one out of the end zone. Now, you think this Husky Stadium crowd's not going to come alive. Washington pumped up. Third quarter. Didn't seem to be that enthusiasm, that feeling, after Michigan was able to drive on a couple, a couple of times. They'll get jacked up again now, Bruce. You see that Washington crowd of over 60,000. Fifth largest crowd in the history of the University of Washington, 60,600. And it's here now in the background. Defense. Key series right here. They can get him this stopped here. Maybe come up with a turnover. Michigan with Smith, Rogers, Armstrong in the ball game. High formation. Smith back to throw. Not going to keep it on the ground. Flips it to the outside to Rogers. He's at the 20, 25, 30, 35. Gets it up to almost the 40-yard line. Stop at the 39. The ball was loose, recovered by Washington, but as you see, it had been ruled dead at the 39. That's that little screen play to the halfback that, uh, that they've thrown fairly effectively all afternoon. Puts a lot of pressure on the defense. Got a blocker out in front of the back. You got to get some pursuit. Huskies playing with some major injuries to their linebackers. To Fred Small, to Tim Meander. They're on the sideline right now. Smith, option, pitch. And run out of bounds at the 43-yard line after picking up three yards. Make it to 44. They're going to say he didn't step out of bounds until the 44. It is second and six. And that was Smith. Kerry Smith. Smith, the quarterback, 16 and 19 so far thrown in the ball today, 195 yards. He has 40 yards rushing. Pretty good day for guys been hurt. Certainly is. First start this year for Steve Smith. Michigan playing Wisconsin next week. Huskies need to come up with a defensive play now. They talk about breaks in the ball game. They need it now. Tailback. Pretty good hole over the left side and very, very close to the first down. Out near the 49. Kerry Smith, the senior from Grand Rapids, Michigan. 2.40 to left to play in Pullman. Now, we thought this might be a pretty close football game. Arizona 45. Washington State 6. Arizona is, looks like they're better than everybody thought they were going to be. Oh, they are for real. Question about that. Dan Rice in there. He comes out of the ball game. The Huskies do Anderson need a play here. Back in. Saw the Husky Something's bench, they're happen. concerned. First and 10 now for Michigan. The ball at their own 49. Eight minutes exactly to play. Hit behind the line of scrimmage is Armstrong. Good defensive play by the Washington Huskies then as the Michigan loses a yard on the play. Cutback play by the fullback. Excellent play by the left side. Number 96, Jim Mora, senior from Interlake. Make it a fine defensive play. You talk about pressure on a young man. He moves to a new position this year, and now he's playing against one of the best teams in the country in Michigan. 7.30 to play. Husky crowd alive. Michigan leading 24-17. It is second and 11. The ball at the 49. Over the right side to Mercer. Brian Mercer, first time in a ball game, picks up about three. Move the ball to the Washington 46. This is a big play here. Third and six. It is now third and a long six. Got to get him stopped. Husky right crowd, a lot of them on their feet right now. Big defensive play. For the Huskies coming up. Steve Smith looking over the defense. What do you do now? One setback. 6.45 to go. Washington needs the football. Trail by seven. Third and six. Smith to throw. Throws complete for the first down. Down to the 35 and takes the ball all the way down to the 32 for a Michigan first down to Mike or Milt Carthens, the tight end. First catch of the day for him. Well, this is a tough situation to be in defensively because Michigan's been running the ball pretty effectively and third and six, hey, they could still run the ball. Uh, Coach Lambright kept it pretty basic right there. They were in zone coverage. They hit the underneath guy and they picked up the first down. 
6.23 to play. That was a big play. Got to make something good happen here. Huskies up with five defenders at the line. Tailback hit at the line of scrimmage, dives ahead to the 29. That's Rick Rogers. So Rogers picks up three in the play, second and seven. Oh, Michigan. Exactly six minutes to play. Michigan 24, Washington 17. Huskies led 10 to 3 at halftime. Second and seven on the 20. Giovanni Johnson comes in to replace Steve Johnson, wide receiver position right now. Rodgers, 19 carries, 68 yards so far in the ballgame. High formation. Smith breaks a tackle, still on his feet, still going. You can see why he's one of the best runners around as a quarterback and gets the first down at the 20. Steve Smith. Steve Smith. What a play. Nine-yard pickup. Here's the option again. A little bit of a breakdown. Missed tackle there. Missed tackle there. And he's going to make a pretty good gain in a critical time for the Huskies. Michigan has taken the kickoff after Washington scored to make it 24-17, and they have driven it down the field from their own 20. They now have it at the Washington 20. 5-16 to play. First and 10. Smith. Rodgers. Rogers to a pretty good hole takes Rick it to Rogers. the 15 to picks the up five. five second and five for Michigan and I don't know what in the world you do now because that big line of Dixon and Humphreys and James DiOrio doing a good job against the Husky defense and, you know Browning Matson and Holmes they've been out there for a long long time in this football game you're gonna have to do something a little bit drastic here Bruce a little bit different you've got to get people up field penetrate Try to come up with a big play. Try to throw him for a loss. You just can't let him pound you for three, four, five yards at a shot. Running inside the tackles. Michigan now. Second and five. The ball at the Washington 15. Rogers still on his feet. Hit from behind after picking up a yard. Okay, the Huskies came with a strong safety Rick blitz Rogers. that time, trying to get some penetration, get somebody upfield, and it, uh, it gave him a play. Yeah, they're going to say his knee hit the ground right at the 15. They won't give him a yard on that. Another big third down play coming up. The drive, as we'd mentioned, began on the 20. It's taken five minutes already off the clock. Well, this is the concern Don had at halftime, that he felt his defense had to do a little bit better job of get him, get, getting them stopped immediately, not letting them take the ball and drive it down the throat. 3.57 to go in the football game. Michigan 24, Washington. 17 Michigan third and five at the 15 Smith to throw throws intercepted but out of bounds intercepted out of bounds by Vesty Jackson and he if he could have stayed in bounds might have had six Smith's rolling out good throw good play by Vesty good coverage excellent coverage cut in front of the receiver got if he'd have caught it well, if, it he'd like caught he, if he'd have caught it the first time, you know, he, right. bounced, he bounced it around. The ball a bounced bit. around a yeah, little bit. Oh, Slopey now into attempt to field goal. The ball have been placed down to 22. 32 yard field goal. Slight angle to the left. Huskies really need to block this one. Ball is down. Kick is up. Looks good. Nope. No good. Got a chance. Oh, the kick looked good from here, but it's no good. Wide to the left. The Huskies hold. There is still life with 340 to play. You need a senior quarterback now to run a football <laughs> yes, team. That's do. exactly yeah. what Washington has. Exactly. They got a guy that's, that's been through it, knows what he's doing, felt the pressure. Second time Michigan has driven 65 yards with no score in the ballgame. Sloppy missing the 32-yard field goal. Michigan ran off 526 on the clock. Brandon DeFeo in motion. Cookie Jackson, the other setback. So over the middle. Complete to Larry Michael at the 30. This just short of the first down. Again, very, very close. This was a case of Pelour, uh reading the blitz. Uh, as soon as it happened, he read the blitz and hit what they call the hot receiver, the tight end, who was being covered one man on man by the safety. And uh, it's an easy eight, nine, ten yards. Second and the nose of the football with 313 to play. The ball at the 30, the Washington 30, one setback. DeFeo will get the first down. 
going to be hit as he gets to the 31. First down for Washington. They'll stop the clock as they move the uh, the chains on the far side. Bill Bissell, you see in the center, with his Husky band all cranked up here. You think they're excited? First and 10 for Washington at the 31. Michigan 24, Washington 17. Huskies with the football with 2.51 to go on a ball game. Pelour will throw. Time. Go. Complete to Stransky for the first down at the 45. Dib Stransky making a great catch on a good pass. The Cedro Willie Sr. Like you say, Bruce, you need a guy now at the quarterback spot that, uh, that, that, that can hang in there. A lot of poise, a lot of cool. Look at him. Looking, the, looking over the coverages. Good throw. Steve Pelor, 21 to 27 for 216 yards in the ball game. Two twenty-eight to go. First and ten for Washington. The ball at their own forty-five. Hunt in motion. Pelor back to throw. Throws to his tight end, Michael. Very close to another first down at the Michigan forty-five. Clock continues to run. Just short of the first down with the nose of the ball. You're looking in the Washington huddle. Larry Michael. Big tight end. Playing very, very well. You know he hadn't caught a pass until this year. Is that right? But four last week against Northwestern. Cookie Jackson in motion. Top of the screen. To the right side. Just a dive by Bruno DeFeo to pick up the first down. Making Walt Hunt in there at fullback now. Gets the first down for Washington. 143 to play in the football game. Huskies driving. They have the ball now at the Michigan 43. Mike Boyle and Mike Mallory on the tackle. Michigan takes out a linebacker and they put in another defensive back. Tony Gant comes in. Five defenders now. Five secondary people in. First and ten for Washington at the Michigan 43. Pelur to throw. Plenty of time. Going to be hit from behind and tackle back at the 45. 117 to play. Huskies are going to call timeout with 117 to play. This is what you call a coverage sack, Bruce. This is uh, actually the protection was pretty darn good. Steve had enough time to throw, but the coverage was so good there wasn't anybody open. So eventually he had to scramble and they got the sack on it. And we'll be back for the final minute and 15 seconds right after this. Each year, American companies lose millions of dollars in productivity because of their phone systems, when all they have to do is call GTE. Backed by 100 years of experience, we sell telecommunication systems that do everything from automatically redialing busy numbers to handling the most advanced data applications. Isn't it about time you gave us a call? You talk about excitement. We have 115 to play in the football game. Michigan leads Washington 24 to 17. Huskies have it second and 12 at the Michigan 44. Pelour 22 of 28 for 225 yards in the game so far. Green with five catches. Michael with five. Big play. Pelour to throw to the outside. Complete to his tight end. He's going to be knocked out of bounds at the 40. And that's going to be about five and a half, six yards short of the first down. So it's going to bring up third down. So what do you do now? That's the sixth catch of the ball game for Larry Michael. Third. Well, you already got two downs and to make the first, but you'd like to do it on this one. Third down, long seven, just about eight. Split backs. 109 to play. Huskies need a first down. Pelor throws. Great Complete play. to Stransky for the first down at the 28. 
Dave Stransky on a perfect pass from Steve Pallor. Good job by the offensive line, giving Steve a lot of protection, a lot of poise, a lot of cool on his part. Pallor, 11 consecutive completions now. Stransky to the sideline, as you see, could be the wrist. Who would that hurt? Here they come. Pallor throws it to the outside and out of bounds. The Hines Good to play. stop the clock stop with 52 clock. seconds to go. He picks up three yards on the play. Second and seven, the ball at the Michigan 25. 12 consecutive passes now completed for Pallor. 25 of 31, 246 yards. 52 seconds to play, as you see on the clock. Michigan 24, Washington 17. This is what college football is all about. Hey, this is fantastic. I think if they give him some time, he'll get it in there for him. They made us run out of time. Two wide receivers put out wide to the right. Patterson and Green. Pallor. The throw. Time. Ooh. Complete to Danny Green. Inside the 10 to the 7. And a Washington first down. When I mentioned time, Bruce Harbaugh giving him time to throw here, which they're doing. Look at that throw. Right on the button. Hit a beauty. 46 seconds that's, to play. That's a good job there of Danny of hanging on to that thing because he got hit pretty hard. First down, goal to go for Washington at the Michigan 7. They trail by 7. Pallor looks, lobs it to the corner of the end zone. Oh. Patterson touchdown. Great throw. Woo! Bruce, this was a, a super executed play. Uh, believe me, Steve Pallor is looked just fantastic on this one. Look at that. Well defended. What happened? What are they booing here? Oh, they're going for uh... Steve Pallor has completed 14 consecutive passes. He lobs the ball in from the four, or from the seven, I should say, to Patterson for the touchdown on a perfect throw, as you saw. Now, the Huskies will go for the win with 34 seconds to go. Michigan 24, Washington 23. That's Ray Dorr on the right. He's the quarterback coach at Washington. Don James talking with Steve Pallor. We said at the beginning of this drive, you need a senior quarterback. You need someone with poise. And that's exactly what he did. That's exactly what he did. Pallor, 27 of 33 for 271 yards. You can't ask for a better performance. You just, you just, it's a great day by Steve against the Huskies move 80 team. yards in 11 plays in 306 to score. 34 seconds left on the clock. Michigan 24, Washington 23. Washington winning the first half as you look at Bo Schembechler on the sideline and he said, what in the world happened to my defense? I had a 24 to 10 lead. I probably wanted to play somebody else other than Steve Smith. But the Huskies came back to score. Here they come. They're going for it. They will go for it. They'll go for two. The ball will be placed down at the three. Number nine. That is Stransky. He's back in the ball game. As you see, Husky fans just going wild. 60,600 here to watch this game. We thought it would be a great one, and it is. What'll be the call, Jimmy? What do you think? Well, they got to. I think they got to put it in the air. Uh, no question about that. Eye formation. Jock Robinson, the up back in the eye. One chance to win it right now. Pallor, back to throw. Goes to the outside. Good complete to Larry Michael. The Huskies lead it. 25-24. Who caught that? I can't. Uh, Michael, huh? The uh, Michigan came with an all-out blitz and almost. Had, oh man, was that awesome? Was that a great throw and a great catch with a guy right in his face? Woo! Tremendous performance by Steve Pallor. Steve Pallor, just brilliant. Tremendous. Larry Michael making the catch on the two-point conversion to put Washington ahead 25-24. We have 34 seconds to play. You look at the Husky crowd. Michigan has three timeouts left. Here it is again. Watch the outside linebacker in the top of your comes. screen right there, right in Steve's face. Beautiful. Larry Michael making the catch. Michael, the 6'4", 225-pound senior from East Wenatchee. 
Three timeouts left for Michigan. 34 seconds left on the clock. Steve Smith has been brilliant here in the second half for Michigan. You talk about a battle of the quarterbacks. We have seen it today. Washington down 24 to 10. Come back to lead. 25, 24. All they want to do, Michigan just wants to get the ball into a position to give Slopey a chance to kick a field goal. Yeah. Here we go. Now we need a kick in the end zone here. Young freshman Jager to kick it off. You see the tie at the bottom of the screen. High driving kick. It'll be taken right at the goal line by Steve Johnson. Johnson. Good. Kick back inside the 10 at the 7. Great defensive play by Washington. I believe it was Al James again, wasn't it? Oh, we'll see it again in just a moment. Yeah, Al James. It was James again, number 32, that made the play. He made the great hit earlier on a kickoff, didn't he? Yeah. 29 seconds remaining. Michigan, three timeouts left. Here it is again. Number 32 is the man to keep your eye on. There he, oh, there he is, right, right there. there. Just comes flying through to make the stop. So here we go. Wide receivers left and right. The ball back at the seven-yard line. The Michigan seven. Smith to throw. In his own end zone. No pressure. Throws over the middle. It is complete. Out to the 20. To the 25. To the 26-yard line. To the tight end. 20 seconds to play. Now they'll move the chains. Washington gets up. That was Devine instead of Nelson. Good for 18 yards. Michigan takes one of their timeouts. They have two left. Washington 25. Michigan 24. 20 seconds remaining in the football game. Can a Husky defense it's lost linebackers struggled in the second half here. Can they come together with a young kid named Kelly and Krakowski? Stewart Hill, Mora. Suns played well. Don James, Vince Albritton, and Stuart Hill. A couple of veterans he's talking to right there. Krakowski, Robert Leapart. He has more experience than anybody else there. Talk to that defensive secondary now. Michigan. See the Husky crowd now with 20 seconds to go. Washington 25, Michigan 24. You will not see a better comeback the Huskies have had. But can they hold and beat the number eight ranked team in the country, the Michigan Wolverines? First and 10 for Michigan, the ball at the 26. Smith to throw. Goes to the outside, throws it out of bounds. 15 seconds to play. Dusty Jackson and Jim Mora back covering. Well, they just Steve Pallor, oh, I'll is. tell you. There's the guy. That's the man today. Steve Johnson going to be going in the ball game here in just a second for Michigan. Bo Schembechler trying to come up with a play. Washington 25, Michigan 24. Washington leading 10 to 3 at the half. Fell behind 24 to 10. Only come back and grab the lead and go ahead on a two-point conversion. Just a moment ago, 15 clicks left on the clock. Smith the throw, second and 10 at the 26. Throws the outside. In and out of the hands of the intended receiver, incomplete. He is really thrilled by Krakowski on the far side. Nine seconds to play, third and 10 for Michigan. This has to go down as one of the great games here, doesn't it, Bruce? Uh, I can't remember a game like this. Not one that had such a build-up to it. I remember the Alabama game. I know there's been some good ones here in Husky oh, Stadium, but this you. has got to rank up there with one of the, you know, with the rest of them. As you see, nine seconds to play. Washington 25, Michigan 24. They need a first down. Throwing over the middle. Incomplete. They'll bring up a fourth down with four seconds to play. Intended for Nelson. Smith just missed him. Well, Smith, who was so good and played so well and didn't miss, now all at once is down to a final play. Fourth and ten. Michigan still with a timeout left, make it two timeouts left. But what do you do with four seconds to go? Another Johnson comes in, Gilvani Johnson. Well, there's no way you can go for the first down and stop no. the clock now. you, you got to go for it, it all. <laughs> Huskies have defenders all the way Lucky back at their own 45. You play home run right now. Don't let them. First down. Smith to throw. Here it is. Throws deep to the outside. 
in and out of the hands of the receiver. Clock goes off. The Huskies win it 25 to 24. Don James and Bo Schembechler. Don James now two and one against Bo Schembechler. First time he's ever beat him, first time he's ever played him out of the Rose Bowl. Washington coming from 14 points down to win it 25 to 24. Incredible football game on the Jimmy. Oh, just one of the best I've ever seen. You know, uh, I, I thought that Michigan, which they did, they had the momentum going there at the end or, you know, after that tremendous third quarter that they had. But the Huskies rallied from the from the fumble and the, and the touchdown in the end zone and came right back on the next drive to go right down, I think, 75 yards and score and got the momentum back. Tremendous performance by Steve Pallor. It certainly was. And we'll be back to talk about the ball game. No, we have Steve Pallor on the sideline right now with Harry Sloan. Harry? First, I tell you, it's just electrifying down here, Steve. That was one of the most amazing drives I've ever seen. 14 consecutive passes on two touchdown drives. Your feelings out right now? Uh, shoot. I don't think you can explain it in words. I mean, just the cohesiveness of this team, the youngness, and, and it was just a great victory in, uh, against a, one of the greatest teams in college football, and, and that's about all you can say. You're down 24-10. You've got to come right back. Then you do. You make the score. Then they miss a field goal, so you, your chances are still alive. You take them right down. You make the touchdown. Then you got to go for two. What's going on in your head then? I just, you know, it was all or nothing, and, and they brought everybody, and, and Larry made a great catch in the end zone. And, you know, it couldn't have been any more picture perfect than it was. <laughs> I tell you, it really a was. great, great performance by you, Steve. Thank you. When the crowd went, did you hear the crowd after you oh, made the two? <laughs> You can hear everything. I mean, my mind is just going all over the place. It was a great win. It really was. All right. We'll let you get in the locker room and enjoy it with your fellow players. Thank you very much, Steve Pallure. Just an electrifying moment. I'm telling you, when they when they hit that two points, Bruce, uh, this crowd, you could, couldn't hear yourself down here. I couldn't believe it. Lance Donson, you were in the trenches during all of that, those two great drives. What was it like down there? Oh, it was, it was good. They're the fastest players we played against this year for, for sure.